Hey, welcome back to Jade Plays on D&D, &D, or other Jade and her crew. So to speak, uh, Rescue, uh, as I said before, um, is the DM here, not me. I'm the Codium. I could help out. And uh, since the first video didn't exactly work out, because it had huge audio issues, let's introduce everyone again, if that's all right. Uh, oh, it was Go Rescue ahead. was going to go first, never mind. Hello, my name's Rescue. We've had this spiel once before. I am the game master for this game. Uh, we're here to tell a story as a group. Hopefully this time uh, the uh, the sound is correct. It is now, yeah. It's been that way for a little bit. <laughs> Katie, help me um, uh, test it out. Yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and go down the list. Um, so... Let's introduce uh, the lovely Atlas Nightlink Nightingale. Hi, I'm Atlas. I'll be playing uh, Haku. And Haku is. Oh, he's uh, my my cat, my cat man bard. Ooh. Okay. Jade, if you would not mind, let's hear about your character one more time. My character is named Jade Bustar. She's completely different from Jade. Um, she's eccentric is a good word for it. Um, very much excitable, but also very, uh, how's the right word? Unhinged, but also when she wants to be, rather. She she, she has power to, the, 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 the power to stay calm, but most of the time she's just like, well, I'm uh, sarcastic, I'd say, and uh, funny and stuff. It, it's kind of hard to <laughs> explain her. With, you just have to watch, I guess. <laughs> KT, say hi today. Hello, uh, my name is KT Shadow, and I am playing Virian Fairwin, a half elf rogue with a very troubled past on a quest of revenge. Perfect. Uh, Freeb. Hi, my name is Freeze. You might know me from the famous movies such as Bonus Action Dark Side and I Plunge the Fucker for All His Health. Um, okay, on a serious note, it's good to be back. Um, I was originally playing a different character. I am playing now a character that I have been playing for a very long time now, and finally his adaptation to D&D has been complete. I will be playing a half high elf dro, meaning it's mostly high elf, but he's got some dro mixed in there. Um, I'm not even allowed to reveal what his class is or his backstory. All I can say is that he is a mysterious, somewhat vaguely familiar man from absolutely nowhere. Izonis Delfame is his name. I think I've already said this. But he is uh, he is deeply interested in the workings of the guild and specifically the artifacts they seek from time to time. Good to know. The tiny. Introduce big lady number two. Cool. So, uh, hello. I am... I, I am tiny. I'm just regular uh, poggers person, I believe. But my character, they're wonderful. Asterius of the many stripes. They are a wonderful lady who is from, uh, I believe, the south, right? The southern... Uh, area no, of uh, region. Care. Care. Wonderful seven foot... Uh, seven... Ah, okay. But yeah, they're they are like seven foot, uh, seven foot four, seven foot six, uh, and they are entirely devoted to being listed in history as one of the greats alongside their teammates. Perfect. Very much a change of pace for me because I'm used to playing life to main clerics or uh, rogues. But you know, we're gonna have fun. All right. Cool. Look, smites are like crack. Once you start, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm or sure. you mean like Oreos, right? Smite, <laughs> yeah, especially since my smites uh, let me kind of quote-unquote heal. So, oh, my lord, it's going to be like crack cocaine. Oh, God. It's, it's, I am a heal whore. It's, it's, the, it's, it's that rain energy flowing through your veins saying, yeah. hi. <laughs> the funniest of the many smites. Yes. Love that. Love that. Alrighty. <laughs> So, I'm going to preface this today. This is a side quest session. Um, 
it's gonna be fun. We're gonna we're gonna make some money, and uh, hopefully we get through nice. everything. Mm -hmm. We get through everything. We can uh, start pushing forward towards the main plot of this uh, this section. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and continue on with Copia Two, shall we? Right. Yeah. Yes. All right. So the. One, two, Yes. The uh, guild for the night, uh, Asterius and Burian. You two didn't really sleep all that great. A lot of tossing and turning. Mm -hmm. uh, you got what you could. I mean, you still got a long rest, just so everyone's aware. I've got long rests. Um, oh. You wake up. You hear the sound of like uh, bells ringing. Three bells specifically. Um, if you remember during your introduction paperwork, after you've read it through it, three bells is for your allotted meal of the day. Mm. Um, go can make your way downstairs, and we will introduce some new faces. Alright, boy. So, you can place your tokens, uh, right over here on the map for me, if you don't mind. Okay. Where the hell is my token item? Uh, you're gonna need to drag it on to the. Uh, so where map. about should I put it down? Uh, over by the staircase. Okay, yeah. I will put it down right here. Yeah, period. A wonderful yeah. lady. You're gonna need Power. to click and drag click where the name is. On your name. I'm yeah, trying. So I'll do it for what? you if you don't. Yeah, don't oh, worry. Working for me okay. either. No, 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 that's fine. I got you. Oh, they got it. Yeah. Now yeah, it's like you should be dragging like the character sheet out, right? Yeah. Kind of, sort of, yeah. It's like dragging the character sheet. Wait, I can't control my character on my token. What? What? Weird. Hang I'm, on. Let me check that real quick. What browser are you using? Uh, no, same no, no, one no, I've no, always no, used. Let me double check. Cram. Opera GX gang. Woo -woo. Um, I, I use weird. Firefox. I got Firefox. Oh, it's, 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 it says it's you have it should have control of it. Weird. I'm gonna move them from here. On. You put it on the map layer, that's why. <laughs> oh, he's on the map layer? Right, bro. That, that explains a lot. That ain't <laughs> it. There we go. I fixed it for you. Or no? I fixed it for right. you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I can drag both my now. character down too. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. So. The two of you come downstairs. I need both of you to give me perception rolls. Where's the JD? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. she's, she's okay. else. And Atlas, if you would not mind, could what? I get a whispered um, either deception or sleight of hand? Your choice. Oh, how do I whisper that? Uh, if you go into your character sheet? Yes. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get it for her. See, there should be the ability to... It's a... Yeah, whisper to GM. You see the whisper toggle section yeah, that just got added whisper, there? Whisper toggle, yeah. If you can just tick the GM toggle for me. To GM. Yeah. yeah. And I should have J come from the front door because she lives elsewhere, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She went to her home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, cool. <sighs> um, Asterius. Mm hmm. Your nose is just outright blinded by the smell of bacon. Ooh, bacon is very tasty. You do not notice the five foot something kin next to you mm -hmm. who appears to just be standing there, blending into the environment. However, Virian, you kind of catch something out of your eyes and you look back at it. And you're certain it's a person. <laughs> Atlas. 
please introduce your character. You are quite tall, ma'am. Thank you. I worked very hard on it. And by that, I mean, uh, it, you know, maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it is Maybelline, you know? <laughs> what the hell is Maybelline? I don't know. <laughs> but it sounds delicious. <laughs> it does sound delicious. Yes, it, is uh, nice, it is nice to meet you. What is your name? You may call me Haiku, and he bows. Ooh. With his hands in front of him. I Would you like to, to roll a history check for me? Hmm? Uh, stairs. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, history. Ah. Not bad. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. In fact, you're almost certain, but you can't quite put it. About? <laughs> Their name doesn't sound like any name you've ever heard. Okay. Especially amongst your kin. Interesting, interesting. In that case, I will just... Your name sounds very extravagant as well. I cannot say I've heard anything similar. Uh, I'm interested to know about you and what land you hail from. Uh, good good to meet you. And I'll like go, out to sh go to shake the hand. Well, as many performers know, a stage name is quite handy in this field uh... of work. Very true, very true. And he, like, holds his hand up above his head to mm -hmm. shake. Cool, we shake hands. This is great. <laughs> Firm handshake, too. Quite impressive. Yeah. Wait, why not? What? Uh, firm handshake too, quite impressive, I believe. Ah, yes. Yes, I, I make sure that my hands are strong, so they are worthy of holding strong weapons. You you know, you know <clears throat> as as you do. <clears throat> yes, and, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the better quite. to give hugs with as well. <laughs> yes, so so it would be, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and may I ask once more, what did you say your name was? Ah, my name is Asterion of the Many Stripes. However, you may simply call me Asterion. Uh, Asterius. Asterion, huh? Asterion! Yeah, Someone's been playing Hi. some Baldur's Gate, huh? No, 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 If, if anything, if anything, I'm, if anything, I'm thinking about Minotaur Hotel, but, you know. Oh. You stay different. away from my neck, you hear me? Listen! <laughs> <laughs> He's my wonderful boy. But yeah. So... Virian, this is the first time you've seen two cat folk in the last, like, your entire life within the last 24 hours. <laughs> what are you thinking right now? <laughs> uh, he doesn't really know what to think. He's just, like, observing this whole thing. Like, go down, he's sort of, like, I guess thankful that, like, not everybody's as, like, eccentric as, um... Uh, Asterius over here, but he still doesn't know what to make of this. Okay. Cool, cool. So we're gonna pan over here for a second. Uh, the conversation's going on in the background. And off to the side, sitting at the bar, talking with the barkeep, is a elven man. He's sitting further towards the edge of the bar, and he's clearly nursing some kind of drink. There's a little bit of steam coming off of it. Perhaps it's a mulled wine or something. The man. And... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, let me know. Let me know to take over. Let me know to take over. He looks to be in the middle of a conversation, and very. And this does catch your eye. Yeah. Uh, oh, the man. details of the conversation. You're not sure yet. It is just out of your shot. We're gonna pan over here. Oh, want me to just start? Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me the three that I've described are here then? All accounted for, and in one piece? That is as far as I'm aware, Mr. Delthain, but um, I'm not exactly sure why you'd be so interested in it. It's nothing, to be of course. Right? Just, a, just an assignment, I'm sure you understand. As far as that, the scribe, I would like to know where she is as well. 
I well, have business with her in particular. Candlekeep matters that cannot be discussed in the open. Well, as far as I know, she went up on some excursion a bit ago. Duh. I'm not privy to the records of her, I mean... You scholars and everything like that. Oh, please, dear, what's that supposed to mean? You make me yeah. sound like I'm some sort of clandestine hermit. Please. Would it you so all sweet? sit in a giant library. Of course you're a hermit. Not so. I'm here now. I'm socializing with you, aren't I? Against your will. <laughs> you make it sound like I don't want to be here. It's nice to stretch the old legs once in a while. And the the Lamia, she like looks at you, she like brings her arms up onto the counter. If you had it your way, you would be nose deep in a book right now, learning about whatever it is you're learning about. As long as leans forward, like, like <laughs> right with her, he's almost nose to nose with her. Can I, um, have I don't some, think um... you quite understand me as much as you think you do. And while I'm flattered that you have a, such a vivid image of me, mayhap, my dear, he puts his hand forward just a little bit. Not not too much to make contact, but enough to lay his palm down next to her arm. It's almost an intimate gesture. Mm. I would ask that you please give me a chance to prove myself. That I'm more than my colleagues might <laughs> lambast me for. In my youth, I would have, yes. But it's been such a long time since I've been out in a pouch like this. I'm quite enjoying myself. But I thank you for your concern. <clears throat> he slowly begins to drag his middle finger across the counter, lifting his palm up. Then he puts his, his hands right back to his lap. Hmm. Notably, if anyone looks over, if anyone were looking over at this point, trying to get a, a bead on this guy, he has a very extravagant paired set of a sword and shield. Ah. They don't even look to be made of full metal. Do they have any uh, intricate, like, notable markings at all? They do. <laughs> okay. However, oh, okay. <laughs> Would our DM like to request a roll of some sort? I, I would, I would. Um, Anyone that wants to determine them, I'm going to need an Arcana or a Religion roll. I don't see... Oh, there's a Religion roll. Okay. Um, well, Whichever it's one's plus higher, one for either one. choose. Well, it's plus one for either one, so... What oh, the fuck? Oh. Alright, you want me to reveal a little bit of these things, then? Yeah, Varian's the only one that I would say could be doing, I guess, I think, Hiku and Asterius or something, a conversation. Yeah, we're um, these weapons, their magic is too closely tied to their owner to be considered tools that are just enchanted. They're more extensions of his body and might in fact even be alive. Where they come from, how they were formed, and so on. Well... There's a lot of theories that could be made. But what's clear is that this man and these weapons are one and the same. And the line between the mana that connects them is very blurred. Where one starts and the other ends might not be entirely certain. How Virian deduced that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I should have uh, messaged, uh, mentioned this, but uh, when he was a kid, uh, he liked to read a lot. He didn't have much to do. Oh. This would have been in an extremely dingy old tome that would have been very difficult to read at first. <laughs> Something that would have been written in ye olden copian that's or ye olden common that's very very far back. Very esoteric. He yes. grew up in an elven kingdom. They they tend to keep a lot of old stuff. That's yes. what I'm saying. Old for them. You gotta remember, this man's an elf, too. A full elf. A full elf. That's fair. Yeah, and Varian's a half-elf. <laughs> Varian's a half-boy. The, uh, so the Lamy at the bar, she kind of, like, uh, <clears throat> clears her throat. Her face visibly reddened. Not mad, just very confused. Well, uh, I, uh... <clears throat> 
I should be going. I feel like I've flustered you enough, my dear. Maybe you should. <laughs> also, I can't put on my own token. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god. Well, let's see if I can I don't know that. what's going on. Let's He's see. not on the map layer. No, no, it's, no it's, it's, it's not there. I'll, okay, okay, I'll, I'll get it. So, Zonus, right? If you it's can, on the token layer. Yeah, if you can if you can delete that token, I can drag my No, no, I, I, I have it. Just a second, if I can find... There it is, got it. Yeah. And then up yeah. There you go. Yeah, I got it now. Thank you. I think, yeah, you didn't have permissions for it. Okay, this is great. Yeah, How the fuck it. do we have not have permissions for our own tokens? I don't... It, it, does, it does that sometimes, <laughs> for some reason. It does... Yeah, it does that from time to time. Um, Red steps away from the bar, and he is tall compared to the rest of the party, with the exception of Asterius. Imagine. <laughs> he's about he's about a foot shorter than Asterius. Man Yo. is like six four. Ooh. He is slim, and he is in his prime. Yo. His hair I, I feel- reaches just beyond the shoulders, and it's tied back. Well, we found the Sephiroth over here. Might as well be. Let's go. <laughs> Sephiroth is just a misunderstood girl boss. Like, what do you want? Here's, here's another thing. The man has a cloak on. Ooh. And it is emblazoned with a very particular symbol. The cloak that he's wearing is of a royal blue. Oh, it's gonna be royal. has a... Okay. Yeah. yeah. It is fur-collared in a white fur, and on the lapel, cinching it together, is the design of a family crest. Can I roll a history tech to check to see if you're able to recognize that family crest at all? I'm going to give you advantage Ooh, on yes, this. Because you, you, <laughs> you would likely girls. know yeah. this. Oh boy. <laughs> By the way, he is on the approach towards the group. Ooh. 13. Hell. 13. 13. Ugh. This symbol is old. <laughs> you might have seen it in the halls of your great grandparents' place. Is there any more I could reveal beyond this? The symbol has a lot of correlations to several families from your homeland, right? The way that it's designed, there's a lot of design language that's similar, even to your own family crest, as far as you're aware. Three feathers pierced by a downfalling blade. Ooh. That, that design is, is not something that you'd recognize immediately. But it does tingle a spot in your memory, if that makes sense. Uh, I I think it does. Like it's something that Virian feels like he should know, but it's like like rubbing him the wrong way or something. Yeah, it's like it's on the tip of his tongue and he just can't remember it. It's a brain tumor. Gotcha. <laughs> He's standing just outside of the group's sphere right now. A hand to his freshly shaven face, rubbing his chin. Um, Asterius and Hicker, you guys still having a conversation about uh, big hands and firm handshakes? We're gonna talk about Dave. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. I, 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 I have a question. Just like, just not to be like a like a lore uh, lawyer here, or whatever. But don't full uh, blooded elves don't they like? I don't aren't don't they like have an inability to grow facial hair? In this world, they grow facial hair. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In this I, world, I, they can I, full I on grow sure, beers. I made sure to look at this before because Ezra Bright Soul, in particular, from the previous campaign, was able to grow facial hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I was just. And this yeah. is me going off of regular D&D this is rules. The, this yeah. is the don't, same. don't mind this me. JT is yeah. the new guy, so what's going to come up? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the new no, one. That's fine. That's, that's no, what you're I'm good. Saying. I made sure to look this up because I know normally they don't. I was actually prepared right. for this. Don't worry. Yeah, because I because I because I was like, wait, hold on. I remember uh, yeah. like years no, 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 ago no, no, when no, I was I first you. making Virian. It's like it you. very notably stated, oh. Half elves with or like hey, like yeah, beards are like on the trademark of half elves or whatever or something like that. Or it's like one of their notable features. So, uh, what's the conversation with Asterius and Hiku turning into? Uh, I think that, like, we've gone into, like, straight up just the arm, like, wingspan of arms being, like, you know, how great... When you get diminishing returns on hugs. I I definitely think, like, they're both holding their arms out, like, comparing. (laughs) Yeah, just like, your arms may be better for, like, you know, nice and little around the neck hugs, but mine, they can do, like, around the back, they can do around the hips, they can do whatever, you know? Marion's just standing there, fucking like just, like just eating his food as they're talking. 
He's munching on a muffin. Yeah. But you know, sometimes maybe neck hugs are better, so... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> After all, they are more like intimate than personal. That's true, true. To, you should get to their neck first. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, you need I mean, guys alone. I mean, right. right? With the pause, with, with, with the conversation rapidly deteriorating, the man finally approaches. Ooh. Might I have a moment of you three's time? Why, indeed. Mm. Of course. Who are you? <laughs> myself, the Zonus de Fame. I am an agent with some particular individuals. And I would like to speak with you all upon a matter in which might result in a... How do I put this? I promise you, he waves his hand out side to side as though to deny a notion. I promise you, I promise you, it's nothing bad, nothing bad. This is not some they all say. adventure. Just as a um, side note, I just want to make sure, uh, like, point out whatever, like, unless he's, like, fucking, like, sleeping or, like, changing his clothes, whatever, Varian keeps a habit to, like, always keep his hood up. It's like even in indoors, or whatever. He's just like it's like a sort of like habit of of his that you know people might seem as odd, you know. Yeah. Like some anonymous type beat where like I don't want to yeah. show my face. <laughs> that and he's also self conscious about a certain thing about him. I yeah. have been scouring so far for you three in particular. Me. Of course, you. All that is very very oh. kind of you. Very wonderful. Why don't you say so? <laughs> Have we met before, stranger? Not you. Though I'm sure your ancestors would have told many stories. Most of them false, mind you. Most of them exaggerated. <laughs> I see, I see. Very wonderful. Uh, Virian, it sure finally it clicks. Delthane. Would you like to roll history with advantage again? I shall give it a shotty shot. <laughs> uh-huh. Seventeen this 17. time. Yeah, this you remember that. House them. traces back ages. This was before the first. Uh, what, what was what was the big calamity that happened that caused the this? Uh, the darkening? Yeah, this was this. These guys predate the darkening and predate the heroes of the darkening. It's rumored that they're warlocks. Some say they're sorcerers. Others claim that they're wizards that have studied for many generations. Even fewer will claim that these individuals hail to a magic not of this realm. But what is true is simply that House Delphame guards their secrets very carefully. They have ties to the nations abroad. But no one knows really what the extent of those ties are, other than the fact that the patriarchs and the matriarchs of the house have often been seen bumping elbows with just about anyone that is anyone. In fact, the Delphame House was directly responsible for the current state of the Civil War in Aegon. Mm -hmm. So, being that's where your family is from, Virian, you might have a little contention of him just trying to play nice. So... Yeah, very like he the doesn't. He doesn't. To begin. Yeah, he doesn't like let things, uh, sort of uh, like all out on the, <laughs> like all out on the table figuratively, like per se, whatever. He's like, he actually sort of like takes like a cautious step back, and I don't know, like he doesn't. He doesn't expressly say that he recognizes uh, the house, but like I don't know, like. If one were, uh, like, astute enough, I guess, like, if he were astute enough, he would see, like, his eyes darting back and forth from, like, the, the crest on his cloak to him. He's like, I see. I'm rolling insight on that, just to see if I can pull that from meta-knowledge to real knowledge. You're, you're certain he's wigged out about something? Maybe it's you, your skin... The fact you're a hair. random stranger <laughs> walking up racist, to him. Just, you know. <laughs> Look, I can understand your apprehension, and I can understand that this is sudden. But I promise you, while it's not grave life and death, it is important. It is to my knowledge that you three have not been assigned to a team yet. You've not been assigned to a proper group, a party, if you will. Well, not officially, but I think I like these people. It is to my understanding that you lost one coming here. 
he flaked off, went to go chase some oni that he was in. He was instructed, some yokai, I believe, specifically. Waved the paper in my face, was very loud about it, pointed him in the right direction. Nonetheless, you require four individuals to form this group. Actually, it's five. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, it's five. <laughs> at hearing you mention no, that you're him in a, at, at hearing the pointed him in the right direction part, uh, Stereus Squint go, Oh, did you did you know where he was? Did you know what he was looking for? Because I myself was curious. In a manner of speaking, I can't divulge the details. I'm actually I, I under a contract specifically for that. But I understand. Nonetheless, I would like to contribute to this little group if possible. Mm. Well, I providing do not there see are no objective, no objections from anyone in the group. He specifically mm. looks to the hooded man. <laughs> I don't want to bother you, to sir. And I know that of these two here, of the three here, you are the only one that has shown some form of uh, contention. If you have questions or concerns, speak them now. His posture after? straightens and his shoulders broaden a little. I'm after a lot of things. Answers, namely, and the journeys that you will go on will no doubt lead me to them. I'm a man of science, and I'm a man of vigorous study. Specifically causality. Are you familiar with the, uh, the nuances of cause and effect on the greater weave? I'm familiar with nuances, but not that. Yes, I. When it comes to nuances of causality, the most I know is you are a legend, you become a legend. You know, I do as you do. My understanding well, I is basically goes uh, goes to say that every action has consequences, well, whether ground or destructive. Mm -hmm. Good or whether bad. minuscule or gigantic, yes, cause and effect is certain. A friend of mine taught me a little something about being able to discern what causes you can trip for what effects. How to get what you want by influencing karma, to some extent. And it is my belief that through helping you all, I will find my own. Mm, well, there I'm are tides here. here at work. And just as the moon waxes and wanes, just as those tides rise and fall, so too do those of the fates. I understand you're missing one extra. He looks specifically to Asterius. I'm always missing something. Wait, uh, are you looking, looking specifically at me for the... Yeah, he's, missing looking, one. he's looking at the Leo, yeah. That's what he yeah. says. Specifically, we're missing one. We that do appear to be missing sense. one. There is four of us. There's one of you. You are very welcome to enter. Then we may become official. The what? doors fling open and what can only be described as a wailing banshee uh -oh. enters in to the Adventurer's Guild. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> and there she is. Oh, oh god damn it, not her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I at that uh Asteris is going to go like Oh ah, I I forgot. Uh we we have a fifth you're still very welcome, do not get it twisted. But we have a fifth. They're interesting. Uh bear with us. I would make five between you between you he points to the two that came in. Oh again. wait, I, I he forgot this person back is over. not us. <laughs> He thumbs back over to the Wailing Banshee. That oh, makes boy. three. She would make four. If you're interested, dear. I'm not sure if you are or not. And I apologize if I've roped you into this unceremoniously. <laughs> oh, I mean, technically you've roped me into this, but... Um, yeah. that's, yes, that's... Oh, well. Really just no, no concern. Oh, rope is, to rope note, is those of you who have not spoken with this uh, unique cat boy... Well, note that he's actually wearing a silver band around his shoulder. Yo! Does this band have any visible properties that would distinguish it from other bands? Yes, it would. So, uh, it actually has... Em hold on, hold on, hold on. It actually has emblazoned on it that of a newt. Oh, man, that's cute. 
Cheats are mute. Meaning? Mute. <laughs> Sorry. Meaning? I got better. <laughs> this cat boy is in fact a silver newt, a higher rank than all of you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, I'm noticing that Asterius is going to go. Oh, very wonderful! I did not notice. You are. A, you are of a higher rank. Very wonderful. Very wonderful. You'll have to. You'll have to guide us since you are superior. Yeah, won't that make you leader? Um, we will what? need you. Don't perhaps. feel my ego. We will need you perhaps later. Um, in order to conduct joint operations, it's specifically through what channels I wish to join you through, we will need your signature in particular to sign off on some... We'll not call them waivers, but for all intents and purposes, they are. Ah, paperwork. He does, however, he, t he takes his cloak over and holds it in front of JD for a second before dramatically flourishing to present her to the group. Mm -hmm. You are welcome, dear, to approach. I already have. <laughs> I meant further. Oh, please. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I was just stepping aside. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I've been with... Oh, Snoopy's here. Cool. I haven't seen mm. you, your faces around. Well, I believe you've seen us before, uh, but it was just a nice little journey. Uh, I recognize you. Uh, sadly, we do not have the uh, the wonderful little sassy boy, but I will be. I am sure we will see him eventually. I think it might piss him off too much that he ran away. <laughs> he was a man after a singular goal, from what I understood. Yes, very much. It's very not much quite so. that he was mad; more that he was. Oh, fully quick agreed. to take off. Yes, he was. I no disrespect towards him. He is. He was very interesting, and I do wish to see him again. As you know, I would like to see if he could accomplish his goal. I gotta step away for a second. Beer back. All right, you're good. good. <clears throat> well, the uh, the Lamia, Mel Melinda, kind of slinks around the bar, seeing this conversation going on. Mm -hmm. And Hiku recognizes her immediately as the the lady that took a chance on a uh, a hapless bard. Uh, he like jumps up and moves over, resting his, his well, trying to rest his arms on the bar, and failing and going, "Hi, how are you uh, doing?" Hiku, darling, how are you? I'm wonderful. It's so good to see you again. It is always good to see you, my little money maker. And she's patting his head on the top. His ears like flatten and he starts purring. Yo, poggers. <laughs> yes, that's a good little. So I hear that you're trying to take on some more adventurers at your group. What made you decide yeah, to do that? You. Money. I'm back, sir. Money. Money. Yeah, that makes sense. Would you like me to process the paper? Have them brought up? Yes. Right away, okay. please. Okay, I will take care of it for you, do not worry. As I Thank understand you. it, they will be a part of the White Pot game, right? Yes. Understood. You go out there and make me some more money, yes? Oh, 100%. Don't you worry. <laughs> Perfect. And she, like, slithers off into her office. He, like, walks back all happy. All There's... Well, that was quick. That certainly gave me more trouble when I came in. Maybe they just like you better. Make you hear from the what? office, You're not making me money! Damn. Damn. Well, well we will oh, I bring... not. What are you going to do I... about it? Tell me no? Yes! What? It's a courtesy say... for me to let you in here. What is it they say? I bring home the bacon. Ah, bacon is very delicious. It is very wonderful of you was to that, be bringing it home. Was that the smell? I bring home lots of it. <laughs> well, how good would bacon be if your home was not secure? Um, that's what I bring. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Right there. Well, anyways, I'm JD. Nice to meet you. Um, I like stuff. Azonis, <laughs> power still fame. He takes a bow. Ah, cool. I, I, I. You know what? Never mind. I, I, I that was just a passing thought. I, don't, I could have sworn I'd heard your name before, but 
Maybe, maybe uh, not. I get that a lot, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm a face and a name that's vaguely familiar. Mm. I suppose for elves, I'm the equivalent of the human John Doe. He gives a he gives a hapless shrug. He's not really sure. At least so I'm told. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So we're <clears throat> oh jeez, something stuck in my throat. Must eat too much of the caviar earlier this morning. <laughs> she said in character. Yeah. Hmm. May I, I do. roll a history check about <laughs> seeing if Azonis would know specifically a little more about her? All of you could roll history checks, <laughs> and all of you can roll them at advantage. Oh, boy. I'm going to oh, do that, because that's boy. good. In fact, I will tell you, the DC for this is a two. <laughs> yeah. If you fail, oh, you're not one. <laughs> I, was meaning, I was meaning for specific other reasons, but... Yeah. yeah. Even, even if I not one, I'll still do this. True. No, it's fine. I will DM and roll. ask this. Yeah. Right. You got five, though. Oh, no, six. It's still two, though. <laughs> Virian is the only person. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Man. you do that to me. <laughs> it's great, though. Your actors are great. <laughs> Just... Uh, my mind's too preoccupied by this elven motherfucker to hate into much else. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I Sorry, getting That's a behind like the... the behind the scene. Uh... You're pulling back the black yeah. curtain. Yeah, yeah. yeah getting, getting, getting a behind the scene. <laughs> so, all of you instantly re recognize her. Mm -hmm. This is not just JD Blue Star. This is, in fact, Azura the M Magnificent. The great circus magic performer of Hyken. One of the pinnacles of the Illusion School of Magic study. She is a part of a roaming troop of illusionists, enchanters, and abjurers that go about Copia and spread joy, wonder, and merriment to the masses. So, do with that information what you all will now that you know. You see, mm. you see ha Haiku's eyes do that big eye cat thing as he stares at her. <laughs> he starts breathing heavy. His tail, his tail just starts, like, whipping back and forth. As long as his oh. vision narrows, and instead of looking directly at her, he's cast his eyes quickly across the room before his once intense stare relaxes quickly. Mm. It's it's almost shocking how fast this man can go from completely different expressions that almost don't seem to line up with who he is. Mm. So he's for now just keeping quiet. I could like walk over. Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Asterius, what are your thoughts on meeting a actual celebrity, one that has achieved glory? Um. Yeah. Well, on that, it, it, at hearing that you're a celebrity and that you have achieved glory, I'm going to applaud you for like just immediately like just start clapping, and just go very wonderful, very wonderful. We are very lucky to have someone who has already achieved glory among our among our ranks. It will make us even it'll make it even easier for us to be in tales of wondrous adventure in battle if we already have someone who's accomplished that goal. And Virian, what are your thoughts? Might I might I ask? Uh, oh, you're good. Virian was leaving for a second. Oh, he's stepping away. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I heard him. Continue. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I'll just like I'll continue with. Uh, yeah. Might I ask? Uh, do you have any advice for someone who wishes to be known across the lands for various wondrous deeds or acts? That's I just want to butt in real quick, guys, uh, to say like I gotta step away for a yeah, good bit. I gotta actually have to go get food. I told you. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right, Nutrition. So, make sure uh, to nutritionalize. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Shit. <clears throat> 
question? What was the question again? Uh, the, the, the question was, uh, like, if, do you have any advice for someone who is also wishing to be wonder, wondrously glorious in many tales and stories? Oh, that's easy. Just merit. You, you, gotta, you gotta do a lot of things, um, help people, um, and, uh, you know, bring joy. Uh, tales like that, tales tend to um, happen automatically when people are uh, brought back to the brink, so to speak. Either mm -hmm. mentally or, or emotionally. I mean, either physically or emotionally. Mm -hmm. So, helping people usually does do that. Mm -hmm. Very wonderful. I am glad. To, I am glad to hear this, as I am already very, may very dedicated to doing just that. May I that. add an unsolicited addition to this bit of wisdom? Absolutely. My grandfather used to say that ripples are made from the rocks, not the water. It is the action that causes the wave, not the, not the ocean itself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very poetic. Very poetic. Let's not. Very, very true. Let's not try to focus on how to get famous. Instead, let's focus on what deeds we would like to do, and how grand we want to set our goals. To become mm -hmm. famous is not enough just to have it alone, because there's many ways. As you see, Miss JD here. Mm -hmm. But of course, yeah. there are reputations of the high houses. There's the reputations of great adventurers. There are many ways too. In yeah. his words, we need to pick a stone and throw as hard as we can. Mm -hmm. Or in your Thank case, you. as hard as you can. Your grandfather was very wise then. <laughs> yes, very much. Off to the side. Many things, but wise, probably not. He just read a lot of books. <laughs> Sounds a little bit too much. Well, I need all of you to roll perception. I see, I see. Including me? Yep, and Hicka, okay. can you roll me stealth, please? Stealth as well? Oh. Okay. I rolled five. Can I get yeah. that as a GM roll, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. I got seven. G was 14. not paying attention. <laughs> Though I do have a passive perception. Uh, it's also my passive perception shit. Never mind. I'm about to say, I have a passive perception of, but I'm fucking dumb, so. So, none of you all see this. Yeah, no. But this good. entire time, Hiku has been slowly creeping up on JD. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I see, I see. His eyes are fully dilated. And he is staring at her. Cat brain, activate. <laughs> Fascinated. <laughs> by the fact that she is a fellow performer. Jay would probably notice eventually, considering they're like literally behind her. Oh, no, 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 no. He's in her face. In her face? Okay, then. Yeah, she would definitely know us then. He is staring right at her. Oh. Hi. Um, want a handshake? Yeah, I would love one. So, uh, your character doesn't know this, but she's got a joy buzzer on her hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I, uh... <laughs> Your choice. Well. Your choice. Uh, I need both of you to give me <laughs> two open sleight of hand rolls. Oh boy! Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, let's go, <laughs> baby! <laughs> Woo! All right, Hiku. She would know us right away. Wow. <laughs> How do you so what happens ten? when you go to take her hand and so notice he, the absolutely obvious joy buzzer? So he goes to take her hand and stops inches away from the buzzer, looks her dead in the eyes and goes, I like your spark. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked you didn't, you didn't realize that earlier. <laughs> JD just plays off like, like nothing happened. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in the back of her mind, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> he, he then grabs her wrist gently and just shakes her hand that way. Uh, well, I could try. I, I, I tried. <laughs> I do yeah. appreciate the effort. I can't, I can't get them all, you know? The important part's recognizing that. So. 
<sighs> as Zealous visibly pauses after that, and he's he's looking back across the party, darting between their facial details. Mm -hmm. A moment with you will, everyone. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure I have everything right. Mm -hmm. Remember, KT is not here right now. Yeah. By the way, you guys can interact now. He's just. He's oh, okay. Still so I, thought you, I, I thought you were going to say something. No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to have to say anything immediately. What's, what's, what's wrong? Tall, dark, and handsome? Not got anything to say? Not particularly at the moment, but. The, the sound of scales rubbing against the floor as uh, Mel Belinda approaches with a booklet of paperwork. The paperwork here. Smile on her face. She I looks like her over to her. Hello, my little man. How are you doing? I am wonderful. Is that my paperwork? Yes, it is. You are an angel. Oh, stop it. You make a little snake like me turn back into a little egg. <laughs> May I see them, please? Considering how I flustered you earlier. Shut up. Oh, but no, but no one can love her like I can. Yeah. That it's is true. This is a little hellion. It's not a competition. <laughs> no, no, don't go in. You're on. <laughs> All the paperwork is done, Hiko, darling. However, I do have some additional stuff for you as well. Of course, of course. These just came onto my desk if you want to take a look at them. It would be my and honor. Thank you so much. She hands you a stack of uh, requests, actually. He takes them all and immediately just starts flipping through them. Oh boy. <clears throat> there are several. A lot of menial stuff, like Cat Out of the Tree, uh, Help Me, I've Lost My Dog, hmm. Little Timmy's Poison the Water Supply. What? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Little Timmy. <laughs> he looks back at the party and goes, How about a warm up quest to get to know each other a bit more? There's uh there's one on there. And uh It almost sounds like somebody was drowning when they wrote it. But not like Drowning in water, but drowning in something else? Ooh. It reads as follows. Oh dear god, help! Oh god, the slimes, they got out of the ranch! Oh no. Oh, you're doing this one? <laughs> Haiku, hold that paper up. We're doing this one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I suppose we are. Hmm. Alright. So. Do the cat one on the way. Did the cat one on the way get him out of the tree? The cat one on the way, yeah. Alright, yeah, I mean... So... Where you all are heading... Is... To a little city outside of Hiken. One Hiku actually knows pretty well! Oh. Ew. You're heading... To the little town of Cherrywood. I performed no. there! Yeah, known for not only its people, but the fact that they're one of the most uh, misunderstood exporters of a commodity in that of slime excretions. Ah. The they ranch, all the bartenders. The ranch itself has been overrun by the rainbow of all of their slides. When you all arrive from the north, this way, north, okay. you'll see that there are slimes of all colors, shapes, and sizes. Some square, some triangular, some circular. Hell, there was one that was a dodecahedron. Nice. My favorite. Nice. <laughs> and uh, he was just rolling around, minding his own business with a cat inside of him. 
Hmm. <laughs> so is it is that like okay or is it like? Well, the cat's fine. It's just vibing. It's just inside of the goo. It just oh, played a yeah. or something. <laughs> it's just it's just like a car, but like sentient. <laughs> yeah. So give me a second to put some slimes onto the dock. Very, yeah. I mean, KT would know what these are, but because even though he's a new guy, he's oh. not <laughs> experiencing yeah. the kind of pain. <clears throat> Wobbuffet looking. Wobbuffet looking all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call him slimes now instead of two shoes, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Laws. Botwa. Alright, no, those are from uh, Wuwa. <laughs> There, uh, there was a lot of them that got out, and uh, the ranch, the ranch is not doing so good. In fact, most of the villagers in the entire town of uh, Cherrywood are stuck on top of their roofs. <laughs> now, good. mind you, handle these slimes. Well, this is actually a a relatively recent occurrence. Like, you know, common occurrence, unfortunately. We're gonna wrangle them like ranch hands would. Not the wide, the wide slime. It's wide oh, the tall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fucking tall boy. Now, you'll notice that the dodecahedron one, this one looks kind of docile. Nice. The rest of them all have, like, funnily drawn little eyebrows on their heads. <laughs> I, I guess the caretaker decided he wanted to be funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one, this one looks like it's relatively normal. If you guys would not mind, can I get you to place your tokens onto the board? This was the one that has a cat. Yeah, yeah. Where, where about? Uh, <laughs> in the bottom left, right? Up to the north, yeah. Ah, okay, north. Is yeah, the one that's right. docile got the cat, cat in it? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's like, it, it senses the cats in there, it's just like, I must protect. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that like it ate it or anything. It's more it's like it's just there. <laughs> it's in me and it must take care of it. This is my child. <laughs> yeah, kinda like yeah. that. And we are just waiting on his eyes. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> I think he stepped away. Ah. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Sorry, I had to, had to fidget with it for a second. Alright. No, you're good. So. We'll just put KT, uh, not there for now. Just... Yeah, not there for now. It's a little simple request. You don't, you don't need it. But he'll, he'll just be uh, emotional support trying to get people off of the, the buildings and uh, yeah. trying to calm them support. down from the oh, you deep, you gods, the great sliming. <laughs> so. Let me just uh, set up a turn order and awesome. we'll begin. <laughs> oh, roll, roll. What happened? Someone. Okay, I don't know why that oh, happened. Oh, oh, oh yeah, huh. he forgot the internet, old one. My internet flickered for a second. I don't know why. Oh, good lord. You have to get rid of the old one. Mm. Begin. Like, delete the things from the old thing. Oh, boy. Gotta fucking clear this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we are doing horde rules for this. Awesome. Mm. For uh, those in the back, uh, what what are horde rules? So the horde rules is that they're all sharing an HP at certain thresholds. They will do something different. Ah, I see. All right, let me get your player rolls, please, and thank you. Real right. quick, while this is going down, Izonis puts two fingers to his ear, and he speaks. He speaks into some type of device. 
It's Magitech. It's some type of uh, linking device. Mm. He's muttering under his breath. Uh, real quick, gonna send this to rescue. I'll put my Dex tiebreaker on here just for posterity's sake. Mm. CGD. Let's add a atlas to the turn order. There we go. Um, this is a uh, on a C. Let me add my initiative to the roll count. Damn, 18. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, he he draw he takes a huff after this. Is there anyone like roll anything to listen in or? No. Uh, I. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. He takes his hand away and he huffs. Just... <sighs> All right. Hands out. He seems to be preparing something. Of what? It's not certain. We'll just have to wait till his turn. Yep. All right. Let's get some music to start, shall we? All right. And it is time for combat. All right. Thankfully, some of our newer players are getting to go uh, sooner than others. Mm -hmm. Get to see what they can do. Oh, wait, no, I don't have an initiative roll for Hiku. No, just yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. 15. Do 15. She tie broke against yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. What's your dex modifier, by the way? Uh, Their dex modifier four. is four. Four. Who goes above? Yeah. Oh. In fact, let me add your tiebreaker to your initiative quick for me. Music we're gonna pick. Something goofy. Goofy, huh? Hell yeah. Something goofy. Because it's a goofy ass situation. True. Just like me. Goofy uh. <laughs> goofy -a. Yeah. I think switch roll would make sense, but what we'll, we'll, sure. let's uh check first. How's that? Yeah, uh, I can barely hear it on my end, so give me one second to tweak things around. Yeah. I'll just, uh... Oh, that's right, I can do that. Alright. <laughs> Top of the round. JD, you're up. What do we got? Sorry about that. I was, uh, rejoining his player. Okay. Nah, you're good. That way I don't have to see everything. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You won't, <laughs> yeah. You won't see some of these little things. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so my turn? Right. Yeah. Get off my sheet because it, you know, closed after I uh, did that. Alright, so. Uh, let's see what we got. How much uh, movement do I have? Uh, 30, just as I thought. So, how much is uh, 30 feet speed? It's uh, the ruler, right? Yeah, 30 feet. She like, sees the, like, the docile one, like, eh, I'll leave it alone for now. It goes over to, to, to one of the blue ones. And then she's gonna uh, take out her, uh, her sword. It looks it, it's <laughs> Sword, <laughs> anyway. I don't think that hits. Which one are you trying to hit? One of the blue ones. Oh, 
I forgot what it's both. I'm trying to hit this one. The one in front of me. That one right there. The blue slime? Uh-huh. Rolled an eight. Unfortunately, no, that does not hit. First attack does not hit. And then she uses her second attack. In fact, both hits rebound off of the gelatinous flesh of this creature. Almost like they're made of this some strange fluid. Uh, the blue ones all seem to share the same look at you. And the eyebrows that were cleverly, if not hysterically drawn on their face, now frown. They're mad at you. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's Onus. I'm not Is done yet. It is time to. Oh, you're not done yet? Hang on. Oh, oh wait, oh. you have a bonus action? I I was I was gonna do that. I was gonna do, do this. Oh, okay. Okay. So I could just move away. I I had five feet left. The five feet misses. Dances out of the way for five feet. Yeah, that works. Yep, that's it. All right, cool. <laughs> now is Zonus. It's your turn. Is Zonus's hands still drawn out? His two weapons fly into his hand at his uh, into his hands at his command of a sword and shield. Evelok, Ascalon, to me. They actually respond with voices. The the weapons talk. They Let's both call. give a resounding and identical oh! And of course, he's off. They he called him a hoe. He, right. he darts down and across. And he goes straight for a goring strike. He's wasting no time. Sure. So I'm going to make an attack with Living Sword Ascalon. Does not hit. <laughs> In fact, does balls. not hit. With his extra attack, however, he makes another swing. An 11 hit. It will actually glance. Go ahead and roll me damage. Five slash. So his first goring attack misses. However, he spins around and whirls his blade upward. Okay. Magics are singing off of this thing. The first slime you strike at kind of gets cleaved in twain and it separates down into little puddles of blue like goo now kind of like pooling around your boot unfortunately it's gonna take forever to wash this off the uh the rest of the blue ones they do not look happy with you in That's fact right. they look Come. very upset come closer Feel the bite of Ascalon's teeth, and no justice! I actually hear one of the, the townsfolk from the top of the building. Don't! I passed four! What? You cut out. Yeah, you cut out a little bit. It's like, don't do that! It'll only piss him off more! It's a guy in a, uh, like, overalls and a hat, covered in, like, rainbow splotches of goo. You don't like them when they're mad! I promise you! With that, it's going to be a green Chikachu's turn. Oh, I forgot green to change slimes. our names. Green Slimes, yeah, I forgot to change our names on the tokens. <laughs> Just replace Chikachu's slime. How much slime. Moves? 10 feet? No, they're going to be faster than that. <laughs> In fact, I think the green ones, they're going to be a little more intimidating. Great ones are speed hackers. They got 900 feet of movement speed. He can teleport as free action. Oh my gosh, that'd Not be, exactly. That'd be kind of fun, but, uh, actually. You just hear a fucking, like, you hear, like, a Hellcat engine revving in the background. They've got them taped to their back. Nothing personal, kid. Sorry. <laughs> the, uh, the two green ones kind of, like, wiggle back and forth at each other. And where the white one is 
is the uh, the fo- sort of floating dodecahedron. Mm-hmm. The two green ones change places with it. And both of them hold two attacks against you. I assume a 5 or a 12 do not hit you. Neither of them hit. As in both fact, attacks come in, rebound. they're glancing off of... Yeah, they're glancing off of Evelok. That mm-hmm. shield. Boom. So wait, glancing attacks? Yeah, they like just kind of like... Yeah, they just kind of like... You know, like a... Oh, I thought this was like an additional rule for marshals, but... No, 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 no. Okay. I was they're like, just kind of like, uh... Make it a little slump against the shield each time they go to attack. Yeah. And then you just hear the, the little... Making some music. The shield actually speaks in response. The master shall be saved. None will pass my. Oh, Goddamn. Handle. Oh, sorry, dog. Dog, <laughs> start messing with me. What do you mean, dog? <laughs> sorry, my sister has a little boxer, and she just walked up to me in the middle of that cool guy shit and just bought me in the leg with a toy. <laughs> so. Let's try this again. Yeah. Evelok actually speaks back. Nice try! None shall get past my unwavering Aegis! Ask Evelok, please. Enough of the theatrics. Don't want to angle them further. Oh, they're pissed. Isn't it Aegis? <laughs> uh, the, um... the, the moment I give these two things a hammy personality, it's already gonna fucking backfire. God damn it. <laughs> In fact, I need you to make the two dexterity saving throws real quick. What? <laughs> God damn it, dog, stop! Sorry, my dog is. My sister's dog is. Just, will not leave me alone. No, that is the best dog. Okay. Two dexterity saves. So, when they're rebounding, kind of like what happens when you hit like a, like a punching bag. Oh, yeah. They start coming back and landing on the ground, causing small little tremors on the ground. Uh, it's clear that these things are a little bit smarter than you might have initially thought. Love it. And the farmer sitting on top of it is like, See, I told you, don't make a mess! It wasn't me that time. Everlock Ascalon shuts up. That's an order. You got it, boys. Yeah, boys. <laughs> no, they're not in that cat. I love they just that. get that resounding. <laughs> oh, like they're 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 this they're the the personalities of like two dutiful knights. I see. Right. So yeah. Pick who. It's your turn. Okay. Question: Can I try to calm them down via music? Per- persuade them to calm down. Hmm. You would like to roll performance, I hear? Yeah, yes. Yeah. We can see what happens. So, Haiku, you just, you just, well, I don't know, whoever's closest, just see if Haiku pull out the Actually, more. Huh. I have a better idea. You do. Oh, please, please share, please share. All right, we're going to roll this with emphasis. Okay. So, I would like you to say, would you like the left dice or the right dice? Left. Left dice. I would offer guidance, but that's an action, and I can't do that since it's not my turn. <laughs> With the left dice, you have a 20. Mm-hmm. The right dice is all a 13. Mm-hmm. The 20 is bigger. Mm-hmm. So I need you to describe to me what's about to happen, and uh, Jade, you can go ahead and change the music here. Uh, that, I can't, because I'm... Uh... Oh, that's right. What was this song again? It's on uh, Added Songs. Okay. It was which one? The Legend of a You Know Who. Oh, right. Okay. Um, explain to me what happens here uh, as you start to. Make sure to turn up the first one too, though. It's a copy of Conquest. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Haiku so, puts his right foot forward and plants it into the ground and just. With his left arm, he reaches behind into his cloak and whips out a large string instrument, which is just a biwa. If anyone knows what that Japanese instrument is. <laughs> Pulls out a biwa and a bow to go with it. Looks at the slimes dead in the eyes with a smirk on his face. 
and goes, let's rock. Oh, a B1. Yeah, those are pretty. Okay. <laughs> and he just immediately starts playing. And what is the, the tone and, like, the, the design of the song? So, the way his actions betray something hard and, like, strong, but what's coming out is just this very gentle, almost calming, sleepy, kind of lullaby melody. Hmm. What? We gotta find a pair of lights. Yeah, that'll be contra. From Copy Conquest. Alright, so. The. The slides kind of look at you. Mm -hmm. And they start to approach and converge, kind of like ghouly, like sliding along, kind of like a snail. Okay. Past like Izonis and JD. Mm -hmm. Kind of catching them in the movement of the con congregation of slimes, too. Mm hmm. Um, shoot like a wet. At this point, they are basically oh slime surfing. They're sitting, like you know, being drugged across the top of them. They're way How? Back. I don't know. That was a bad um, trick. And they're all sitting there. The ones that don't have people, JD or Izona sitting on top of them, are kind of swaying side to side. Wait, can we I got a concert you, going. Can I get you to roll performance for me? Oh. <laughs> not one in that 20. Okay. Something happens, and you lose your concentration. Uh -huh. Alternatively, you rip the mightiest of ass, and it completely <laughs> halted the performance. <laughs> and the string on your biwa snaps. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh that and hurts that soul. dissonant sound upsets all of the slimes. And the white one floats back to the center. And it kind of spits the cat out. Just... <laughs> right. We've at least rescued the cat. I feel like falls with me as a diva and starts crying. What happens next is... The conglomeration of slimes start to coalesce into a much greater form. And the farmer says, Ah, you done it now! Here comes Big Bertha! Oh, Bertha! <laughs> Hell thing, shut up! Uh, <laughs> so... Wait, 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 where, where'd we go? <laughs> Uh, you guys can re-add your tokens back, please. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. In the center of the town... What do you smell these two? <laughs> uh, those two, they're fine. They're- they're chilling. They're vibing. They're chilling. Yeah. They're dead. What's- what's <laughs> happening with the cat? The, the cat got spit out. Yeah, Did the cat guess? got spit out and it ran away covered in goo. Oh, boy. Um... In the center of the town, a... 40 foot diameter wide slime appears with the biggest goofy smile on its face. <laughs> well, shit! Looks like Cherrywood's going under this time! Great! Thank you, adventurers! No, it's not. It's not being so fucking dramatic. Uh, the tutorial were kind of messed up if you don't. It's fine, I remember him. Kazonis puts a hand to his ear again while this is happening. We seem to have run into a snag. The aberration is not going as according to plan, and in fact, we have reached, we have reached a split. The response on the line is not satisfactory to your liking. What do you mean, no? Our lives at stake, and this could risk operation. I 
don't the rest of you can hear, I do not care what it is you need to do. I do not care what it is you need to do. Find a way to deal with that lesser creature. Or so help me, I will pull rank on it. Then disengage limits and allow full use of Escalon of Escalon and Everlock. Okay. And then there's just silence on the end of the line for you, Kazanas. <laughs> Doesn't mean <you> chat. <laughs> Do you Mistress Yoyasuya is going to hear about this and with that with a quick swipe of his hand he hangs up. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt my soul. <laughs> the Biwa broke. Oh, no. that, it's okay. oh that hurt. It's okay. It'll, it'll be repaired. <laughs> um. Just, just see him stand up. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm so bad. It's a happy man. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to continue from Piku's turn. Piku, that will take your action. Do you have any bonus actions you'd like to do? Would you like to use any movement? No. All right. He's just gonna mourn his Biwa. Yeah, he's on the ground. Fire. It's fine. <laughs> Asterius, it's your turn. Cool. So, big thing. Big, big thing. It, it'd be large and fearsome. Um, in fact, it is realistically about this big. I'll show you. Yeah. It's about that big. Oh, so it's King... So it's King Ice Slam or uh, Frost or whatever. Or it's King Frost from uh, Shin Megami Tensei. That mother... It's huge. Hell, that, yes. that man, a large... Okay, uh, in that case... Large opponent, uh, I see that as an absolute win. I'm going to <laughs> charge forward and just ye yell, Very wonderful day to fight, indeed! And I'm going to proceed to take steps up to it, prepare myself mentally, and then I'm going to throw hands. Uh, I'm going to attack with my great sword, because yes. How are we looking? Oh, 23. Would, you like a, would you like to add a small smite for 99 cents? <laughs> oh, absolutely. absolutely. Would you like to upside that attack with a divine smite? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, 23 please. hits. Cool. Thank you for I... shopping at McHoley's. McHoley's! <laughs> oh, my Thank you for shopping at McSpanky's! However... Yeah. Uh, what's um, I, I will like... also say... I will also say I'm going to use my channel divinity to proc the uh, channel divinity inspiring smite. I will throw it in chat real quick. Have them. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna happen. All right. Twenty six damage. Everyone. Uh. Every one of our teammates here. Uh. So one, two, three, four. Get. He's gonna get ten tip HP. Yeah. Lovely. Love to see it. I feel powerful. Uh, and then, I get because I have extra attack, I can just go one more. Just no smite this time. 26 damage. Uh, have another attack. <laughs> smite on Holly. Smite it! <laughs> now I can smite again? I didn't you know. You can time. use a uh, spell smite. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Divine you smite action turn. Oh, ah, okay. In that case, yeah, I'll, I'll spell smite it. Let's say if you've got like thunderous smite or searing smite. Uh, yeah. I don't have any spells that are smite, but uh, can't I use a can't I use like a spell slot to just smite? No, because uh, it uses turn. your divine smite. Ah, so okay. your divine smite is once per turn. Okay, in that case, I'll just I'll just do, I'll just do regular damage. That's so Eleven good. more. <clears throat> Total of uh, thirty-seven. So. It's actually only 26. Oh, well, that's fine. The, uh... 
the uh, the slime, noticing you're you're approaching, looked at you and went, <laughs> and turned white. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I am become white. Now I will go to Starbucks and drink coffee. Sir, now, is, sir, this is dark sides. <laughs> Right. So, that, so this is dark side. That's my action. I don't have a. I, I think I still have my bonus action because all I've done is do for the conditionals. So, uh, I have a sticky note of all my bonus actions. So I am going to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do magic weapon just to be like oh you want to you want to laugh very interesting we will make this more we will, we will we will make this more interesting for you if you want to laugh and i'm gonna cast magic weapon which is wonderful so i just stim uh, i'm gonna cast it at yeah you know, i can cast things at second level as of right now right so. okay I sure. don't, yeah i don't exactly know how <laughs> spell points 100 percent work but i'll live second level What's that? Uh... Let me check and see. Yeah, the stairs can cast a uh, second level spell. Cool, cool, cool. I cast Magic Weapon at second level. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that does anything more than just what it is at base, but yeah. It gives it an additional... Um, it would cast it anything higher than second, so third level and above, it gives an additional plus one to it. Ah, okay. Alright, um... Jadie's turn. Uh, it's not. Um, the, the rainbow slime kind of shudders a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And from the body of it, like, juts out a hand. Uh. Mm -hmm. And it kind of wiggles for a second as it comes out. Mm -hmm. I need, um, Shady and Asterius. Both to make me a dexterity save. Oh, I got ten. Damn. Okay. Okay. No wait, no. I I wait. I don't get a ten. Lucky. Should I reroll it? <laughs> I really, I really kind of need it. <laughs> so wait, am oh, I also wow. rolling a dex? Yes, save? I need you to roll a dex save. Yeah. Thirteen, okay, but cool, cool. you know, I'm not gonna waste another point. Uh, dexterity saving throw. Not that great, but that's okay. Okay. I need both of you to take 18 damage. Okay, well, divided between 18. 6 bludgeoning and 12 radiant damage. Ah, do I have. I don't think I have resistance to either of those, because that's not how that works. Uh, so, yeah, there goes the 10 HP I gave myself, and that's. Now I'm down to 50. Right, bro. That's I. I'll live. I, I and live. four dodecahedrons join into the fray. <laughs> I see, I see. I designed this boss pretty good, I think. <laughs> Say that they act after this turn. Oh, I'm just putting in that one. Anything that's coming in, I'm out of it. One of them should be Been a while since we heard this song, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I always want to use that song for silly encounters. Yeah, looking at that. Looking at the name of that song, I hope he's still burning in hell. Who? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. No more. <laughs> no, 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 he's, no. He's like, no. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having Walu Tango EG, okay? Well, he's not a tech anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, we'll be having fun with that. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that All character, right. <laughs> in my opinion. Alright. You're done with your turn, um... Time. 
Uh, I have done my movement, and I if I step away, it's an attack of opportunity I don't want. I've done my bonus section, my action, and I don't think I have it to the free actions. So, yeah, that's it. Cool. cool. Um, Jay, it is your turn. Let's see. Jay just looks at this, 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 this situation and like... It just slapped you. I guess you're gonna die now. This thing just slapped you. Just go all the way up to this and then try to attack again. Mm -hmm. With a 24. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sure, that hits. Okay. For, uh, that's right, my PS. Nice. Yep. The dual style thing. And again. No. That one. That one, that one, uh. Yeah, that one, uh... I use a grudge point. I mean, grudge point. <laughs> we don't have those. <laughs> God, I fucking wish. Nine... No, no, I, 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 I use a luck point. You want to use a luck point? Yes, yeah, so I was making a joke with the, the, the grudge point thing. Alright, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seven. Okay. I was just being sick with the whole Grudge Point thing. <laughs> part of the... Part of the thing. <laughs> and then she moves right back! Uh, let's see. Sorry, right, I'm just calculating stuff right here. Alright. Right. I believe that's her turn now. So, oh man, I forgot why I had this, damn. Oh well, next turn. At the end of your turn, the slime jiggles again. <clears throat> and it shifts from white to blue. Shit. Seems like something is fighting for control in it. It's own, it's your turn. Alright. So, did he have eventual clearance, or did they tell him? Himself? The exact words were fine, but don't let me stop you if you get in uh, trouble again. <laughs> Azonis draws both of his weapons together, mm -hmm. clatters them as one, and is engulfed in an immediate magic aura. I am popping one of my steel trances. Want me to link that? Activating Steel Trance. Nice. So, and the element I'm selecting is neutral, so this is a neutral trance, this is not elemental. This has just got the basic uh, damage hike. Mm -hmm. uh, homeboy, homeboy's looking a little different. <laughs> He's looking a little amped. So... I activated that, it's my bonus action. Uh, AC equipment intelligence modifier. Add proficiency to attack rolls. Alright, so I've got an effective AC of. What is this? Intelligence mod is 3, so I've got an effective AC of 17 right now. I'm gonna add that in. Baba Booey. So his first swing is going to be against this one right here. Homeboy is already on the move, he is fast moving. Okay. For the 12 hit. Yes. 11, 11 slashing. Kills. Kills it. Right there. In one fell swing. By the way, Ascalon's looking a lot sharper than usual, and curiously, all three of them have shut the hell up. Mm -hmm. So, one swing, he's got that one down. He's gonna dart right on in. Yep. So, upon darting in, he's right next to the paladin. And that? that's when he speaks three voices as one this time, only to tell her, HOLD FAST! And with a bonus action, making a second attack against this guy here. Sure. A 14 hit. Yep. 10 slashing. 10 kills. Another fast cleave. Dude is, dude's moving in. <laughs> 
Anything else on your turn, Zonus? Nope. Okay. That's it. <laughs> well... I need... Zonus. Darius and Jaden. I'll let you make me some dexterity save and grow it real quick for me. How about just one? Oh, just one. I'm back. Wait, Welcome do back I take a. Uh, Welcome back, KT. Do I take. Wait, so that's another dex save? Yep, we have another dex save. Kate's, oh boy! Katie's back. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening to the, to the initiative order? Uh, Woo! Mm. Of you all save taking half of 18, so 9 damage. That didn't even break my barrier for the uh, somehow. And now I also need all of you to make a strength saving thrust. Oh, this is 18. Oh, wait. I will nice. yeah. uh, So I'll I've do still this. Got it. A temporary. I think it's. <laughs> Ah, it's an 8. That's not great. Wait, you said, uh... Strength. Strength. So is this a special ability, or is this considered a, uh... Is this considered an attack? This is a legendary action. Damn, alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JD... JD and Asterius both get goo. I got goo? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> You are both grappled by the goo. Oh boy. So, at the beginning of your turn, I will need you both to make an athletics check to see if you guys can get out. Or, in the case in which you have better acrobatics, you may try to use acrobatics to jump out. Yes. And then, uh, say at the top of the turn, we should add um, Virion in. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll put Virion in as a fixed piece, uh, fixed turn. Right. So... Um, Hiku, it is your turn. Are okay. you, uh, are you, are you, are you making peace with your Biwa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the beautiful Biwa. And he put the daddy gets up. And with a far more serious expression now, he walks over. Oh, hold on, let me reread this. I may or may not have made this. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's good that it can just attack everything and not have to move. Yeah, it could if it wanted like to, it. but it doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool, cool, I can do this. Sorry, I just had to double check that I can. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to point directly at the rainbow slime. And cast mm -hmm. Cloud of Daggers. Cloud of Daggers. Let me refresh myself on this spell real quick. Okay. Sure. Uh, do you want to upcast it or do you just want to leave it alone? I want to upcast. To third level? Yeah. Alright. And you're going to need to roll me 64. So it's 12 damage, I got it. So 12 damage. Mm -hmm. And it needs to make a save, right? Or... Uh, no. 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 No, <laughs> no save. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Alright. So the area directly where it's standing, I'm assuming, right? Uh-huh. Alright. So... Blinded by the rage of losing his precious instrument. There's a chill in the air. As the, the lovable cat now points a finger and says, Whoa, a cloud of daggers upon me. And, uh... Almost like a twister. Starts forming that cloud. <laughs> of sort of like mist around the uh the slime 
each of them slashing and digging into it. Dealing the 12 damage. Anything else for you, Hickory? That was just your action? Yeah. And that was a little bit of spell points, Hickory, which is Yep. Was, uh, I believe five, right? Yep. Alright. So, any bonus actions, anything like that? Can you repeat that? Any bonus actions mm-hmm. or anything like that? Uh, I'm just going to have him take a step back. Okay. And that's it. Dexterous. Mm-hmm. Athletics or dexterity, or uh, athletics or acrobatics? Which one you want? Athletics, to baby. Okay. No. Nah. We're not getting out of that one. No. Nah. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, does that mean I just don't have an action? You do not have an action. You are restrained for the turn. No bonus action either. You may bonus action, that's it. Ah, okay, bonus action. Alright, let's see. What, what bonus Oh, so you have no movement, too. And if you're required to cast a spell, you have no vocal component. I see, I see, so okay. You cannot speak. Mm, the only thing you okay. can do is, uh, scream. <laughs> they, 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 they can't speak, but yet they must scream. <laughs> yes, I, I have no mouth, but I must scream. That, that, that's what was. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Let me think here. What, what channel divinity do I have access to? Uh, you used your channel divinity already. True, I could do... Like that. No, like you, do you used your one. Yeah, okay, alright. That's what it was Yeah, that was the inspiring spike. Okay, uh... Yeah, okay, in that case, let's see. I... I don't think I can daunt and roar because no uh, mouth can no scream. Wow. <laughs> no mouth. No mouth. <laughs> no mouth. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's a damn shame. Ah, I'm a- <laughs> Here come the boy. Here comes um, at the, the boy. end of your turn, it jiggles again. And brings out another arm. Mm-hmm. Now it's got a pair of big old arms. Mm-hmm. And then it slams the ground where Asterius and JD are. Mm-hmm. You are both claws. restrained, Sorry. unfortunately. Mm-hmm. You cannot. Fail? Yeah. <laughs> so you can't roll the deck save. So I need you both to take 18 the damage divided between bludgeoning and cold. I, I, I love how we're almost dead and we got a pet. So yeah. Uh, so that's that's 18 damage. I mm-hmm. I'm hurting a little bit. Hurting a little? Uh huh. I I need an adult. Uh, so on. 41 I'm minus already, 18. I'm in single digits right now. <laughs> oh dear. 31 minus 8. Is... So I'm coming. <laughs> Don't worry. I am on my way. I am on the way. Do you have a bonus action? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have rocket spray or anywhere. If nope, I if I me. can get a, <laughs> if I can just get three, maybe I can do something. It's okay. Uh, little do you guys know this this fucking uh, Krieg's swordsman swinging through shit has a heal. Hell yeah, let's go. Thank the you. uh the rain the, the the rainbow slime just claps. That's it. That's its turn. You can't. I I, I will say. <laughs> I, while when that happens, I will just like you can't really hear it because the goo. But I just go like. JD and eleven does not hit you. Yeah, it does not hit me. Okay. And Asterius does a eleven hit you. No. Okay. Cool. Uh, Virian, what is your dex? My dex. Uh, just like the regular stat. Build the uh, modifier. Up. Oh, I have a plus three modifier to my decks. Okay. Um. After Hiku's turn, I need you to roll a uh, initiative for me. Okay. And then you can add your token to the board after Hiku's turn. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, JD, top of the turn for you. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Athletics or acrobatics? Not, uh. 
I can use my bonus action if it hit after that though, right? You, if you, you, if you successfully get out, you will have your bonus action, yes. No, I'm using my bonus action right now, then. Can I use it right now? As long as it does not require you to move. It does not require me to move or speak. Okay, you're gonna use second wind? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that's fine. 1d10 plus my fire level. Um, so Fucky. So, minimum of step. We call this the fighter power spike. 1d10 <laughs> plus uh, 6, I think. I think it's 1d6. Yeah, so 7. Yeah, 7. Not 1. Mm -hmm. Something's mm -hmm. better than nothing. Look, 7 HP is more is seven more HP than you had before. Sure. Yeah. Money, 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 money. Which means you can probably take another hit. <laughs> Providing his onus' turn comes up next, there's no. Uh, Shenanigans? Yeah. Yeah. I have shenanigans, but I'm going to be nice. He has shenanigans up the wazoo, and I'm the one who made that sap block. <laughs> so I can't complain <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm stuck. Uh, cool. That's it? You're yes. gonna take your turn to get out? I'm gonna try. Alright. Acrobatics or athletics? Your choice. Acrobatics. <laughs> Yike! Uh, that's a Reno. Damn! Yike! I got two I don't understand. That's a, that's a, that's a it's just one. jelly. Oh my god. <laughs> it's sticky. It's it's like boysenberry. Okay. Um, at the end of its turn, or of JD's turn, uh, it shifts from blue to black. Uh, that's hilarious. I have a so, feeling that this is changing resistances, maybe. Zonus. Oh, it's action dark side die. <laughs> I wish! Uh, I wish! <laughs> I wish! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, I'm hexing it, it's going to have disadvantage on strength saves. So that's my bonus action. Okay. I am going to main action. I gotta make sure the text is right here because there's. Yeah. Uh, this I'm gonna is gonna main action. I'm gonna cast this on JD since she's in line of sight. Uh huh. I'm gonna cast the spell that you guys probably haven't seen before. No. Bandage creature. Oh. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> now, since I since this class does do warlock casting, am I casting it at third level? You are casting it at the highest possible level of both. So times. yes, third. So you burnt through two of your spell slots with this. Yeah. So nineteen healing for you. Nineteen oh, healing. Thank goodness. He sheaths his blade and in reflex throws his arm out. Glowing green bandages fly from his from what seems to be an unusual gauntlet. At least for a moment. It might be a little hard to see with how fast this man is moving because Azonis is moving very fucking quickly. They snake up JD's wounds, and before she can even process they're there, they already fade. Congratulations! It might have also made your skin a little softer because of the restorative properties, but we're not going to talk about that because yeah. skincare is not important right now. What's important <laughs> is that you're not dying anymore. Yeah, fair. Mm -hmm. And besides, uh, I'm probably going to play moisturizing already for the <laughs> slime, so. Yep. And that's turn. Alright, Hiku. <laughs> top of the round for you. How you doing? Still lamenting the Biwa? <laughs> no. Okay, good. No more. No more. In fact, I'm gonna use this Biwa to beat your ass! <laughs> I literally had that- I actually had that thought go through my head of like- <laughs> you know, Biwa your ass? I don't know. But, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> It would be considered an improvised melee weapon, and it would only be doing your strength uh, modifier. Be yeah, I'm not gonna do that. It would that. be actually healing. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna move closer, and then... Who else was her? Uh, Asterius. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, he's going to cast Mass Healing Word on Asterius. Yo! Just Asterius? <laughs> You can't hear it, but I am um, trying to thank you. I will say, though, if you'd like, Cure Wounds is a more potent heal right now. Okay. Yeah. 
because you could upcast it if you wanted to. Um, we'll, we'll do that then. We can get the most potency possible. Alright. Scare so... wound. You said uh, cut it to two. Do you want to upcast it to three or do you want to upcast it to. Uh, just two? I'll do three. Two? Okay. Get it yeah. done. 22 spell points. Please roll it at third level for me. Stary, 15 healing. Woo! Thank you. And uh, how does your cure wounds look? Mind you, remember that the spells are different in this world. What does it look like? So he holds his hand out and just these light, almost thought I were the. Oh. Almost like these strings of light swirling out of his hands and they surround where the wounds are, almost kind of going into them, kind of like stitch like in a manner, and then they vanish. Hi! Oh, sorry! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I did beds! <laughs> I couldn't help the joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, Q, that's your turn? Yep. Perfect. Austerius. Athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Athletics, babe, you know what I need. And then Furion, you can go ahead and put your character onto the board and roll me the shit, please. <laughs> how, does, how does this 23 look? Yeah, hey, you're fine, you're safe. Cool, so now do I have my action or is it still like not that? Just your bonus action. Okay. I am unable to drag my name onto the board. Weird. Okay. And that. Okay. Hey, I still don't I... have permissions for my own goddamn token. Weird. So are you dragging it from the uh, name list? Yeah, from the name Or are you dragging point. it from like the actual like name section of it? Because if it has the little, if it has like the the black bars on it, uh, it won't drop the token. It'll just kind of like be like, oh, you're trying to move it in the list. So you have oh, to physically son of do. Oh, bitch. Okay, I. Yeah, you have I to be a little bit what further. My problem was, I was moving it from uh, the name and picture thing from the bottom. Yeah. Let me check something really quick. All right. Cool. And then can you roll me an initiative? I just yeah. realized magic weapon is concentration. I probably oh. lost it. That's a damn travesty. It's okay. No, you haven't. Uh, you haven't been hit, and I've been rolling that in the background for you. Don't worry. Okay. Cool. 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 Never mind then. Uh, so Thank in that case. Yeah, I I have vocal now, right? Yeah. Cool. So I I see this slime thing as a meanie coward for just like grabbing me and slapping the shit on my ass. Yeah. The man was grabbing me, saying "Hola, Dora," and just <laughs> my ass. Dora. Uh, and so at his bonus action, I'm going to proc daunting roar, a racial feat. I will put it in chat. Yeah. So the DC is eight plus three plus four. Mm -hmm. So fifteen. DC fifteen. Okay. It passes. Damn it! I'd like to think, think I scream like at its like jelly body, and it just goes, no. <laughs> no, it's actually so stupid it doesn't understand what you're trying to do. <laughs> oh, I see. So it's just like. You're loud. Your words, they do not hurt me. Yeah. For I do not understand. <laughs> I this sign sir, so I am dyslexic. Right yeah, this this <laughs> sign doesn't affect me because I can't read. Uh, exactly! Exactly! So yeah, um, that's my bonus action. I... Lift Farah into me? I am dyslexia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I... Hmm, I'm gonna stand right the fuck where I am because I am not afraid of this gelatinous gob... That is a good choice. There is a reason Homeboy has sword and board. You will find out if it affects. Let's go. All right, so my turn's over. All right, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Right, I'm about to throw hands. Uh, I also need his owners to make it. And I need Hiku to make it. I think I might need Fuck. Katie. Let me actually check it. This man is a grappler. One? Yeah, Zangief out no, of you're here. Good. All right. If you're not, though. It's like he's, a, he's outraged. Um, <laughs> hi! So Atlas is the only one that passed, so Hiku's good. Uh, Hiku takes half of 18, so you're gonna take 9. 
and Izonis and Asterius both take 18, split between 6 bludgeoning and 8, or 12 necrotic, my bad. I see, so oh, I'm going okay. to, I'm going to be at 20 HP again. You said 18? Yeah, 18 total. That's so do I? 17, because I had the one left. Wonder, do I actually have any resistances besides like and poison? when it slams one of its big meaty grabbers onto the ground a pair of purple slimes spawn oh that's a white slime that's a boy <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> this thing is uh, having a good time getting to play with you all. Play date. Yeah. But like, not fun because my organs feel like they're being slapped. <laughs> well, they the stereo is yeah. just under the palm, like. <laughs> yeah, I like. Uh, it's it's Why like does the. the <laughs> the poor bee. How do you know Haiku? <laughs> yeah, why does that? How do you know Haiku isn't enjoying this? I <laughs> know I'm, I'm over here just like I do not like the gelatin the thing. <laughs> Can somebody I do not help? like the big jelly berry. Yes, um, at the no. at the end of that attack, the color shifts from black to green. It's gotta mean something. <laughs> it's chaining elements, I think. Yeah, I would think like it's, it's getting like changing resistances. It, yeah, when it when it dropped when it went purple, it dropped the purple guys after its turn. Oh, it it, okay, cool, 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 cool. So that's another thing. We'll have to find that out, Gary. Yeah. It is your turn. Yay, finally, I'm alive. I've been here the whole time. In fact, <laughs> yes, Gary has have. been trying to get the villagers of Cherrywood to safety. Hmm. Oh, okay. Now so he's finally gotten control. them all to safety, he's been able to rejoin the fight. And what he thought was just going to be a little scuffle with some slimes turned into this. <laughs> Like, basically, I'm looking at this big motherfucker like, what the hell did I miss? For reference, this is how big it is, unironically. Let me grab the order here for you. So, it is... This big. Jesus! And its head is, like, floating in the sky. <laughs> so... Like, I'm just looking at this thing like, what the fuck did I miss? So... Like, you can see this from Hiken. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so... In, in meta, Druid's like, so we meet again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I get that we're using, like, Choo Choo Face as reference, but do they have visible eyes, or no? Uh, they have a pair of soulless, like, yellow pits for eyes. They all have smiley faces, and the ones that spawn off of them have drawn-on eyebrows. Ah, okay. Whoever bred these slimes... They're, um... Special. They got a uh, sense of humor. They got a six sets of humor. Yeah. <laughs> they got a Garfield lunchbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, oh, this motherfucker eat beans! This motherfucker eat beans! No. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this man eat beans. This man eat beans! Okay, uh, You, you so eat I'm... my beans! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead... Go right over here next to ally, but away from enemies, and I'm gonna... I'm assuming that since this thing's so goddamn big, I'd have a clear line of uh, clear line of fire. Oh, yeah. Even though it's, like, sort of over these tokens. Yeah. Okay, alright. In uh, fact, I would say that it's cast, like, a shadow on you. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say Guntag with my short bow. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to... W would it be possible for me to aim for, like, a specific part of it? Yeah. I'm gonna try for go for one of its, uh, quote-unquote eyes. Sure. This time 17 hit. hits, yeah. And, uh... Four, and four I piercing. And I think I get sneak attack damage as well, since I'm near an ally. Unfortunately, the way that Swashbuckler or Sneak works is no other creatures within 5 feet. Just... So, Hiku is within 5 feet. No, no other enemies, not, no other creatures, no other... Like, it's, but it says all other rules apply, and the other rule applies is that like, if I'm 
near an ally as well. Right? No other creatures are within five feet of you, and you don't have disadvantage on the attack. You don't need to use advantage on the attack roll to use your sneak attack against a creature if you're within five feet of it. No other creature are within five feet of you, and you don't have disadvantage. So because Hiku is in within five feet of you, but the creature you're attacking isn't within five feet of you, you're still not meeting the requirement for uh, Rakish and Dazzle. So you have to be here for it to count, if that makes sense. It's all three or nothing. Think of it like um, you need to be dueling them head on, and it's just you and them. If that makes sense. Well, this is the consequence of my own actions. <laughs> okay. I know. I'm sorry. I hate. I hate to be specific like that, but it. it that is what it says. Um, I was on the impression that it was like other enemy creatures, but mm -hmm. okay. No, 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 no. It's it's any creature. Uh, so okay. it could be like there could be a fucking bird flying by. For the love of God, if it's within five feet of you, you can't sneak at that. There's oh a, there's, mother! There's, 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 it's, there's, it's that fucking specific. Then suddenly there's a strange looking black bird that sits right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> my sneak attack is a water bear in the same box. Occupying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you oh, shoot? Oh, what, 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 ho, I can't do sneak attack because there's a fucking ant on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> so you shoot your arrow, right? <laughs> and it sticks right in its eye, and the face that's on it frowns. Just <laughs> one frame frowns. One frame? It's like... <laughs> it goes from this happy thing that's enjoying it. It's doing- it's enjoying itself, it's having a good time playing with you all, and now it's mad. And you hear from the background, You shouldn't have been mad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> now I need everyone to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. What? Oh boy. Oh, golly gosh. Yes! Yay! Oh. <laughs> Yay! I got an A again. But, I, mean, I, mean, I didn't get out one, but it was a serious thing. <laughs> this time. So, JD, I'm going to let you, Asterius, and Azonas all take half because all of you have been getting hit by this attack. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so, you guys are going to take nine. I so hope to God that attack, that. You said? This is an attack, but it is a legendary action. It's a save, unfortunately. There's not a roll against it. So I'm under 11. I need some it, help. So I can't impose disadvantage on this. Correct. You're fucking kidding me. It's I'm, a save. Yeah. I'm sorry. So nine damage, you said? <laughs> it is not. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in Spain without the S. Absolutely. <laughs> whenever, I, whenever, whenever. And whenever then, I um. So how much was it again? Nine. Nine. Okay, so. And then, uh. Virian and uh, Kiku are fine. Though I need JD, Asterius, and Azonis to also make that very uh, strength as well. Because here oh, comes the Guru! Oh no, I rolled a 9. Ignore the double click, my mouse just does that sometimes. It's very annoying. Oh yeah, I get that too sometimes where I'm trying to play a fucking banner lord. It's like, uh, I didn't want to do this! I wanted to hold my attack, I didn't want to fucking release already! Finally. Yeah. JD and... JD saves, Azonis doesn't, and Asterius doesn't. So, Asterius and Azonis are good until the start of the next turn when they can make a save against it. They good boys. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Go! <laughs> The uh, the rainbow choo choo, slime, yeah. the big old dickhead, Virian. Hi. There's a shadow looming over you. Oh, here comes the comically sized foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually this a hand. Is the consequences of my actions. Yeah. It's actually a hand. I need you. Oh my man. Does a uh, 24 hit you? 
Damn. What the fuck do you mean is a 24 AC? <laughs> In what situation do you have 24 AC? Mm, let me see here. Uh, what do you see? I don't, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Okay, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a cliff. He was like, "Yeah, I'm actually so high." Did you know I'm um, can I also else? get you? <laughs> can I also get you to make another strength save, please? Uh, before we do that, well, is is there damage uh, with this weapon? Uh, with this weapon, Jesus Christ, attack yeah. as well? Yes. All right, I'd like to use my reaction to do uncanny dodge. Just half that bitch. <laughs> it's not a save. This is an attack. This is an attack being rolled against you. Right, yeah, when an attacker hits the thing you can see, hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction Perfect. to have the attack's damage against you. Yep. I forgot it was, yeah, it's the not evasion. But yes, you may use your uncanny dodge reaction. Cool. cool. So and you're you going to have it to nine. Room. Nice, okay, that's a... good. <laughs> yep. Does 13 work? Barely. Is that a by the skin is of that your teeth? Barely does above it save? the margin or barely <laughs> below the margin? <laughs> by the skin of your teeth, do you save? Okay, thank God. Uh, but you are now uh, covered in a viscous goo. As the hand comes down and squishes you under it, and you, your head, after it goes down, kind of goes straight through it, and it lifts back up. Wait, so the no, moves the no. strength saving throw to like be like what, in case I was grabbed or whatever, or what? That's for me to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. for me to know. Wait, so did I pass the save or not? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're good. You're safe. It's trying to steal your clothes. It wants to steal mm -hmm. your Tims. Protect oh. your life. It's not my fucking Tims! It's like, oh, there, there, there is no meme. Take off your clothes. I the need less... to protect my drip by any means necessary! <laughs> the less you ask Man. questions on why I'm asking you to roll something, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I could just ask you to roll something entirely different. Yeah, yeah he could be like, hey, uh, roll, roll deception. Mm, yes, oh, is fantastic. Yes, you will. Um, religion stave. <laughs> oh, as as a Dear Lord in heaven, please help me. If it is anything below a 17, it does not hit a Zonus in this current stage. Okay. How about a, a 19? But it does hit. Take one damage. Uh. <laughs> I mean, thank God. Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Thank God. <laughs> No, he goes one uh, damage. Wait, I mean one thousand damage. To take <laughs> one. Right take one, one what? One or more. <laughs> one <laughs> future dollar. <laughs> it's the future. Um, I assume that a twelve does not hit you, a JD. No. Okay. How about a sixteen? Um, yeah, that hits. Take one. God damn it. One. <laughs> and then Hiku does a. <laughs> if you ask him a 24 hits, then again, I'm gonna- Natural 20 hit! <laughs> yes, it does. Hey. Take hey, wait a minute. minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two damage. Wait a minute. That was That's both fine. within creatures. I'm gonna- I can't use my reaction. I'm fucking stupid. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're restrained. Yeah. Damn it. The one time I could do my cool guy thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To be honest, no, I didn't know he was going to You're right, I'm not! <laughs> this is pain. I'll be honest here, I, I, was, yes. I designed that boss for like a higher level, but... <laughs> no, this is actually on level for us. It really is? Not. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well... <laughs> it was meant to be like a drawn-out fight, you can clearly see that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so... JD. I believe you saved, yeah? No, you did. Uh, athletics or acrobatics? Damn it. Oh my God. Well, thankfully for you, that saves. Oh my goodness. So. <coughs> JD, back. Your bonus action is usable. You bet it is. And, uh, you know, moving backwards does not prefer, um, uh, provoke opportunity attacks. Yeah. So, she's just going to do don't forget you have every fighter's favorite two words. I do, yeah. That's right. You do. 
I do have that, yeah, that's right. Action search. Okay. Strike. I'm Get him. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not just gonna do Kill. that. Kill. Not just action surge. Actually, I'll move closer. So, I'm gonna use my bonus action to... Shove, wait. <laughs> oh? Oh. Okay. So... Shadow Blade comes out first out of all trains taking place. Sword! Sword! Just show us the word Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, would you like to attack with your spooky thing? Yeah. No, she's gonna stand there and like just stare at it. <laughs> you fucking scare him with it. I'll cut you! I'll get you! That'd be hilarious. I'll do it! But like, yeah, mm -hmm. let's go. <laughs> so, how do I roll for this? Um, so you're going to roll it as a whip in your proficiency, so uh, you get your proficiency bonus and then pick for me either strength or dex because it has the finesse trait. 16 to hit and dex. Sure, 16 does hit. Roll me 2d8 plus your dex mod, please. 2d8 plus 3. Plus three 11. is fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. Fourteen. Yep. And you still get your extra attack too. I do indeed. And uh well, I can use it with my I can use it with my um shot blade. Yep. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. It's a simple melee weapon proficient with that does in fact hit. And so two D plus three again. Mm -hmm. And uh cool. So plus three is fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Big damage, let's go! Big damage, let's go! That's good, I got plenty of movement, so I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yep. One second. Oh, goodness. <laughs> What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just doing some numbers here. Damn, this doing numbers. <laughs> yep, you gotta figure out numbers, man. Um, yeah. so this what? Imposing creature. Kinda of just lost its footing and has now toppled over into the ranch. Its eyeballs kind of shift down a little bit. And is now like where the edge of its like, you know, like its body is. Right. Like sticks to the ground. On the like little uh connecting vertebra right there. Right. And its eyes are staring right at his onus. Um Quad just so shows one shots it. Sorry. <laughs> Right. Oh, well, you know. At the end of Isonus' turn, it shifts to yellow. Uh, Down with the dictatorship. <gasps> Down with the fucking. <laughs> Down with the red curtain. <laughs> God damn it. So I need to make an acrobatics check? Uh, acrobatics or athletics, your choice, whichever is higher. I believe in you. It's a nice way, uh, I didn't get out. <laughs> yeah, Zonus does a back to it up. Nah, 20, get me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does it? I don't know. That looks like a one to me. Damn it. <laughs> Actually, that one right before the one. No, 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 no. There's a two, a point, a really, really small pixel of an SMR, <laughs> and then a one. That's the an ant on a doing shoe. Your display is fine. The recording will vindicate me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you save. Would you like to do a backflip as well? Yes. All right. Cool. Now roll backflip. me acrobatics so you can land. Shut your fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and if you fail, I'm breaking both your kneecaps. <laughs> a steel trance with two warp entities possessing. Seriously, like, grant him that ability. Oh my God, no. give him I'll be right back. I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you what, you want me to give it to you? No. Let's roll with emphasis. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. Left or right dice? No, please don't let me do this. Left or right dice? Don't let me do this. Left or right? Please. Left or right? Come on, man. 
<laughs> just left or right? Right dice. Okay, good. You're fine. You're an asshole. You know. <laughs> He's a GM. He relishes in being an asshole. <laughs> I personally love that mechanic, and I hope I get it more often. All right. So this so... is rolls. So would I provoke opportunity if I tried to run? Um. Because this thing's I mean, all over right now, right? I would say that if you just kind of like, right? It hasn't like if, moved. If I, like I, I need you to understand. Like this, right? I need but you I just... to understand. This thing is this big. Okay. It's huge in comparison to you guys, right? So I will. So it technically point. you would have to be. I'd be like. You would have to like. Now. Yeah. In order for you to get out of it, you'd have to be that far away. So he's gonna shimmy out of that immediate, like, fuck zone. Right. right. And that's gonna be it. And then it lifts its hand and attacks you with an opportunity attack. <laughs> fuck you! I'm kidding. I would actually just disconnect. I would quit. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but it will use a legendary action. You're an Again? asshole. What does this fucker have? Does it get one a turn? Does it get one per turn? It has three around. Ah. Damn. <laughs> Pain. So. Oh, we're getting pulled by a fucking choo choo. It's not just any choo choo. The big fucker. <laughs> Asterius, how do you like a deck save? <laughs> fear. Put the fear. I, I, got, I got a fucked under. up joke when uh, you said it was the big fucker. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger bottle. Oh. Yeah, we should probably put him in a bottle anyway. I mean, that's how you get the jelly. Scoop that shit up. Yep. That's how. That's actually how they get the uh, slime secretions. Anyway, Tiny, can I get you to roll the deck save, please? Oh, deck save? Oh, absolutely. Please, God. Okay, not bad Yay. for one. Okay. Let me just double check something. Because if you're restrained, I'm, un I'm unfortunately going to have to. Yeah, you're restrained. Yeah, no, I, I am restrained. So Alright, I... so here's 18 to the face. <laughs> well, now I'm at zero. Oh, you're dying? I'm crying, is what I'm doing. <laughs> so you are not dead. You are fucking yeah. dying. You're not dead, okay? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm dying. You are still conscious. I you are just hurting bigger than shit, a, all right? Yeah, I am you are in the dying death. condition. Yes, that yes. is correct. You are also sinking rapidly into the goo. I see. So. I don't want to find a way to he's crawl your way out. He's dying, sure, but he, he's in the goo. Yeah. Anyway, hey, it's your turn. He's he's deep in the rag. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. It's time to eat that ravioli. Um. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So we only have spaghetti. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli, give me the barjuoli. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Just I hate you. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. I do hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. This is great though. Oh. I love it. Oh. Alright, I'll pull out my longbow and shoot him. Yeah? Yeah. Give him a little, give him a little tick, tickle tickle. Yeah. Hit him. Take his eyeball out. 24 to hit, sure. <laughs> Roll damage! Tw Jesus Christ! Jeez! The maximum on that. You actually got the maximum? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's it? Any bonus actions? Um. Healing word. Can I? Yeah, literally. Yeah, healing word. <laughs> Let's do that. Cast me some healing word. Alright. Cast it on Asterius? Yep. Alright. Uh, I'm juice. Am I getting yeah. back my body? <laughs> please put the blood back in my body. Yeah, please. Eight healing. Eight. Oh, that, that's not blood. That's cranberry juice. Don't worry. That's probably uh, that's, that's red slime actually. It's Kool Aid. <laughs> Asterius is alive. 
Yes. <sighs> and at the end of Hiku's turn, it shifts from yellow to purple. Oh boy. Purple. Oh boy. Turn. Oh. Gets getting. Destroyed. I'm gonna see this in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, him, I'll, I'll be asleep. I'll just be like. <laughs> No. <laughs> fucking head, fucking grimacing slime. It's not the slime. No, stay away. <laughs> I, I can just imagine. Uh, so, I'm gonna do athletics. Um, you're, you're damn okay. skippy. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, you save. You're good. Cool. I only have my bonus action, which means I have nothing. But that's okay. Uh, let me hold on. Let me refer to my notes again. I've already done my channel divinity. I'm not gonna cast a magic weapon again because it's probably still up. If not, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it's uh, I can't do. I would need to recommend doing it. Yeah, I can't do daunting roar, and I can't do harness divine power because I've already used my skill. <laughs> so I have nothing. Uh, I, you know, I trust all of you. I do. I trust each and every one of you. Yeah. I need a minute to breathe, so excuse me while I take a step back to inhale oxygen into my lungs. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Can I main act? No, I don't have a main act. I'm, uh, I'm just going to step away. Get a minute to breathe. Sure. sure. Get out of the thick of it. Yeah, I assume that's an attack of opportunity. No, it's not. Okay. Oh. None of them have attacks of opportunity, thank nope, God. Don't they know. Okay, and that yeah, that in that case I'm just going to like <laughs> I'm gonna deeply heave just like <sighs> <sighs> That is not fun. I Oh I just, 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 just one moment. I need to breathe. That I mean, I've spent a lot of time in the goop. I need a minute. Is that what oh, looking for you? Okay. I'm going to I'm going to just okay. End my turn out here and just breathe. Like, I was just gonna have a, a character interaction. Like, go oh, for yeah, it! Sure. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Zonus is already prepping another spell. He's already winding that gauntlet back up. And he's gonna look right at Asterius. You're not going to die here. Not yet. We need you. Oh, trust me. I do not plan on dying. However, I. This is certainly challenging my lay force. <laughs> I am fairly <coughs> certain this thing is planning on us all dying. So, let's. Very push true. That is. Down. Yeah, that is what all opponents wish, but this one very annoying in the way it is doing it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let us let us continue in the battle, uh, and yeah, then my turn is going to end. <laughs> okay. I'm over here crying. And <laughs> Virion, it is your turn. I'm alive. All right, so I am going to move over. Nya. Okay. And once more, gonna launch the track with the uh, with the short bow. Yes. Yeah. Please, God. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. You may roll. Wait, your did score. I roll? Wait, did I roll seventeen last time too? Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's great. Love it. Four again, Jesus Christ. And wow. you can add your sneak to it. If you like. This time, I can add my sneak. That's in thirteen piercing. Yep. Love it. Yields good. And, uh... Hold on, let me just see. And then... Wait, hold on, let me just... I'm just gonna find something. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Would you like to see the calculations and me going off and doing his head? Okay. If I... If I dip back here behind the house, would I be able to use my bonus action to hide from this thing and the others? <laughs> would that be plausible at all? Um. It's stupid, Brandon. So. so you are trying to hide from it. And yeah, where are you I trying wanna to use go? My, I, I want to use. I want to. I want to go back here and use my bonus action to hide. Would that be possible? I'd say that's fair. I'd say okay. that the only one that would see you would be this one, so I am going to need you to roll a stealth check for me. Okay. 
all I'm gonna need from you. One stone. Please, 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 plus nine, please. Eleven. <clears throat> what is this thing's mental stat? <laughs> yeah, you're good. It's it's mental stats come like that. Sky, it has a two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rob would be smarter. It has a two for intelligence. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, 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 they're not like, ooh, Rob's are pretty. <laughs> oh, that's myself. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, um, yes. This, this floor is made out of... The floor what? is made out of floor. <laughs> this floor is made out of floor. is made out of ground. <laughs> so... Yep. It is the Rainbow Choo Choo's turn. Okay. And unfortunately, you guys are getting close to killing it. Let's go! And it feels that, and it is frightened. You better be. It's not a good thing for you all. Oh! Is it gonna Please suddenly have self preservation? Anything. Please let it roll anything. Please, if it's going to attack, let it roll and attack. <laughs> Please, I swear to God, I have one thing with this fucking sub. It does, it does have attacks. <laughs> so, it starts to oscillate between colors. Insert Mario. Insert Mario. <laughs> so, if you guys somehow do not kill it. By this initiative count. That means it's gonna okay. fucking self destruct, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's, it's trying to fucking Sudoku us, bro! It's okay, guys. This white choo choo count. Right there. 10. Mm -hmm. If you guys do not kill it by then, it will explode. It is also getting a D8 of HP back every turn. Let's see. It's okay, I've got a plan, guys. Yeah, okay. no, don't worry. I, I also I have a plan that may or may not be running alongside. So, uh, we're, me and Asterius both are still within melee range, right? Uh, Izonis, you are here. Yeah. So, in order for you to hit it... Let me fucking move that there. Why? Why are you still doing this, ruler? Which one of motherfuckers got the ruler out still? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't. That's, uh, I'm good. I mean, okay. Anyway, uh, oh, you are play. here. It is. Yeah. I would say. If you move now, you will be fine. Wait a minute. Did it move? Oh no, its head fell over. Like, you would still need to be in melee would range of the spot to hit would it. Would that have triggered an attack of opportunity since it technically moved out of range? It did not move. It fell. Right. So, but, no. Okay, damn. I was gonna say, because if it did, that would have been fucking cheesy. Um, that would have been cheesier than a Taco Bell, like, fucking quesadilla. Speaking of which, Yo. Yeah. Speaking of which, Taco Bell fuck up my order. The Damn. Choo Choo, the, the, little, the little slimes. Do any of the following numbers hit you guys? Uh, specifically Hiku, JD. Yeah, Hiku and JD. 16. 15 for JD? 16 or 15? Both hit. Okay. You take one. <laughs> and then Hiku does a... 24 hit. <laughs> if you keep asking if a 24 hits, you're gonna keep getting the same answer. I don't know if it's a class combination, armor combination, or piece combination that isn't homebrew that'll give you more than maybe 20 at most. I do. Maybe 22. Definitely, it definitely doesn't hit at all. Sorry, like a walking dog. Did one for me? 
One damage? Yeah. Oh, that literally has, like, done nothing. It hasn't even hit my main hit points yet. <laughs> Still has the... Fucking temporary. lovely. So, 13... Yeah. And then... So, it has now finally got back up to the sort of flying saucer state. And it is rapidly expanding. Oh boy. Oh. In fact, you can almost swear, JD, it sounds like a balloon about to burst. Huh. <laughs> Y'all need a Keely Queek. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> it's okay, if there's one thing this, this subclass I've chosen is good at is one time bursts of damage before it fucking keels over. JD, nice. um, I see. Takes out her bow. Uh-huh. And, uh, I'm gonna shoot it. You gonna shoot it? Shoot it. You got a little shooting shot? 13 hit. That unfortunately does not hit. That does hit. And I'm gonna add the shooting bonus uh, for my thing on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend all my show points. So... Mm -hmm. It's, uh, an additional... Oh, it's additional... It's additional piece of ammunition! Oh, boy! So, so like... you get two damage rolls. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Oh, not, not 20 style, not 20 so style. So 19 damage. Yeah, it's a, not the 20 style thing. That was from the Yeah, I gotcha. So, yeah, 19 damage. Two. She shot uh, two uh, arrows in the same shot. Okay. Now, let's see. I think I did everything I needed to do. Um, okay. Double check, though. Oh, that's right, I got shell blades still. Yeah. Can I throw it? Do you have an additional action to throw it? No. Okay, no, unfortunately. Alright. On my bonus Zonus. action, I'm going to activate a delve. So basically, I, I spend a class resource and I get to choose uh, from the two effects uh, from a big table. They're like that's all. I'm a resource-based uh, yeah. invocation. Yeah. So I'm burning an insight. I'm activating will to power. Mm -hmm. And you said right here to attack it? Right here to beat the shit out of it? Yeah, you'd be fine. Right there, yeah. He's in. Will to power is activated. I'm still in trance. I've got to think, what is it? What, what turn rotation is it right now? Nine? Yeah. I have one more turn of, of trance as well. Yep. I'm running on fumes with this shit. Yeah. So still in neutral trance. This is going to be... These, this is going to be plus three to hit and plus three damage. So this is three higher than each of these. <laughs> Does a 22 hit this fucking thing? Yep. Nine slashing. Sure. Gonna use extra attack. Does a 13 hit this fucking thing? No. Damn it. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. It would have been. So you did nine. Yep. Okay. Azonis is in a fucking frenzy. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's some, some like... Gaussy and blurring around his body that makes it look like he's literally falling out of focus, but I promise you that's just a trick of the wind. It's totally not happening. <laughs> yeah. Hiku, your turn. Longbow again. Okay. Sure. Cool. Seven. Cool. And then, uh, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, in my turn. Asterius. Please remind this thing it was not made of the image of God and smite it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. That's, that's the plan. I've gotten to breathe. Now my chakra is back in alignment. <laughs> Your chakra is back in alignment, huh? Yeah, I... Uh, absolutely not, but like, you know, don't worry about it. 
<laughs> you know, you gotta reposition the chakras. I mean, chakra. I mean, uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> you can reposition on his onus as a free action. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! I got Big lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, all right. So I step up. I step up, and I am, I am fully just focused. I am raring to go. The magic mm -hmm. weapon is done, so no plus one. That didn't. I didn't mean that to rhyme, but I did. Uh, so now, if you keep hyping to... yourself up, you're gonna net one it. I'm telling you, just roll it. Oh. Stand it up. <laughs> don't don't say the words. I don't 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 say words that are true. Just shut up. <laughs> oh, no, I, hate with hex. I forgot. I forgot. I hit it with hex. Yeah, right. Let's I'm go. gonna be honest. You lost concentration on it three turns ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's high though. So okay, let me think. Let me refer to yeah. my notes. I've been rolling the concentration in the background here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, great sword. Nice oh, sure. Okay, I, I am smiting. I don't... I can't do uh, divine... I can't do inspiring smite again. No, so but you can okay. definitely burn a spell slot for that. Okay, so that's just 19. Mm -hmm. At least that's what you want to think, right? Yeah. See, <laughs> but here's the thing, though. This is still black. <gasps> did we just hit a weakness? You did. You did. Woo, I know. So you're hitting it weakness. for instead of just 19, you're hitting it for 30. I knew there was some resistances and weaknesses involved. And this shit was Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> Shin Megami Mama. All out of tech. All out of. I've been waiting for this. You'll never see it come. Your back's exposed. Yeah, uh, now I'm gonna do a second attack, the Great Sword. Uh -huh. That's a 24. Uh, that's so it. Just, so just, like, have this as well. And I am going to... You know, for the hell of it, just to spit in its mouth, I'm going to proc my Slashery feet, where, because I did damage with Slashing, uh, it just, it has 10 less movement speed. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Tall gelatinous d d annoyance. Ah. <laughs> all case of the fuck yous. Yeah, oh, it's real. core energy. It's breathing plasma on you. You take 9,500 fire damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't spoil the surprise. Uh, <laughs> you, I mean, I'm not saying that there's not something called nuclear bomb on this thing's cheat, but like, <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> For bonus action, I have. Anyway. <laughs> just, 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 uh, su just suddenly the damn thing's eyes go white. Just your fuck the fuck the damn this Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I, I don't. I think I don't I think, think I have a, a WPF. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any bonus actions. So that is my turn. But I will end it with just a. I refuse to let this tall gelatinous idiot defeat us <laughs> at any moment. All right. Give me ah. one second. Yeah. What's up? All right. What's up? Oh no. There's I'm a girl not... boss. Hi, Hang on. Hear me. I am girl boss. Hear me roar. Is there no combination where we get out of this alive? Oh, there <laughs> is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Don't worry. You're fine. I'm protected <laughs> by this thatch hut. <laughs> Who said? I Don't have any safeguards, Elvis. <laughs> I mean, what? What? We have no, apparently, safe card. We're not allowed. We're not existent. Virian, it's your turn. My turn? Okay. Uh, You're not being so like this thing's supposed to die. 30. I mean, yeah. That one wasn't accompanying, yeah. Still gotta roll pretty well, I mean. Okay. Uh, well, I will since... say that it has less than a tenth of its total HP. Okay, okay well, that's. If you Inspire. crit, you kill it. Straight up. Okay. Please hit so, so here's 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 my question. Uh huh. Since I rolled stealth earlier for my hide action, you have advantage. Okay. So you technically um, have a ten percent chance to crit right now. <laughs> um. I still only get the one attack with the short bow, right? I can't like double shoot. Correct. It's only, it's yeah. Only one? Yeah, you can okay. only get the one. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, okay. uh, 
Dice Gods P. Wait, hold on. I almost didn't enable advantage. Dice this Gods P. This is an easy boss. What? This is an easy boss. If this is easy, I'm afraid. <laughs> if this is easy, I'm afraid well, it's going to be medium. <laughs> You'll find out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, joy of joys. 23. 23. Okay. Not quite a crit. Would you like to add your sneak attack? I would very much like to add my sneak attack. Do you need Go to right add? ahead. It's an 18? Oh, it's 16. Did it die? Virian. Uh huh. Maybe it was Divine Providence. Uh huh. Maybe you just got lucky. Uh huh. Uh huh. But somehow, this last arrow, as this thing was expanding further and further, pierces through it, thwacks through the other side, pops it like a balloon. Fuck yeah! I was gonna say, what if, what Maybe if it, it's instead balloon. of actually like, instead of, instead of like popping like a big like explosion, it's just like one of those ones go, like it, it sounds like it's shit itself when it's flying out. <laughs> just reverbed on MP4. Like a reverb fart. <laughs> <laughs> So, congratulations! You guys did it! Yay! Round of applause! Mizonis fucking staggers and falls with his shoulder into Asterius. A guy, like, he bro, can't hardly hold himself up. It's, it's like, it's like, no, no, what's funny is, I want a picture. Because it's like, uh, it's like trying to make a house card so you stack them in like a triangle. Yeah, we collapse into each other and we're like, we're, we're triangle now. Well, he's... <laughs> He's got a level of exhaustion, and he's just lost his his powered up trance ability, because in both situations those are hard forced ends after combat. I oh I see I see interesting. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna like try my best to catch you. I didn't say like, combat was over. I'm going to cry. These guys, yeah. Yeah, we so we took care of the big guy, but there's still these little guys I see. Oh, if, if it's not over yet, then he's no lost collapse. his, uh, he's, <laughs> he's lost his trance, but he's still got the, the will to power going. Hang on, I, I have to, I have to really quick. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? He's gonna hit us with a frame no. one, it, it was all a dream, die. That'd be worse, that was a taste, but no. It was all a dream, you're all schizophrenic. <laughs> the... You wake up in a padded cell. Yeah. You wake up standing at a table, surrounded yeah. by coffee mugs and deodorant. Hey you! Yeah. Wait, you're finally awake! Behind a cardboard partition yeah. and looks over. <laughs> deodorant? You pass the encounter, <laughs> you go back home. Yeah, just, just be like, I love my wife so... and children. So... Where are my wife and children? Here's what happens. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Oh, what the f- <laughs> The not, not done. Music. In fact, it starts coalescing back into a amorphous fluid. Wait, <laughs> and, uh... I'm just kidding, it's done. <laughs> Yo, you are a so, gatekeep gaslight girl bossing don't us, fucking, right? Don't fucking yeah. pull a Terminator T-1000 <laughs> bullshit on us. So, how rescue plays! <laughs> yeah. Don't pull some fucking Terminator bullshit on us. Uh, <laughs> gotta love the uh, PTSD boss fake out. I know Wait, it's I great though. <laughs> I just, I just don't need to turn around, calmly walking back to the guild, and I just hear dun 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 dun. I love dun, your dun, boss dun, music. Dun, <laughs> I can just pick bubble gum and screw ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> oh, no, I was I'm here to I was, chew was... ass and kick bubble gum, <laughs> and I'm all, all out of gum. Not, <laughs> 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 I'm all out of ass. Yeah, no, I'm here to ass, kick him and chew sure. ass. Not, I'm not, a lot see, of ass. Not, no, see, here, here's the joke because he's out of gum, he's gonna chew your ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's goo all over the town. Yeah. The ranch is like collapsed in on itself, mm -hmm. and the farmer that's been heckling you guys the whole time is like, "You got name it, where it." What? Cut off for a second. You got shook my damn slam. I, I I okay, this is weird as shit, but like hear me out. Do I have like because I was grabbed so many times by the slime thing? Oh, you were covered in goo. Can I like get, like lick my the back of my hand to see what it tastes like? That's funny because yeah. it actually it has a taste, so Okay. Um what color? <laughs> Let's find out. If it's a pink, I'm gonna guess bubblegum. Alright, you ready? 
Yeah, what's up? If it's Starburst, it's eight colors, five. It is green. Would you like to lick the green one? Yeah, maybe it tastes like green apple. Okay, roll me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, see that that's all right. That's that's okay. Uh, because with I, disadvantage. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> the tears. They will fall. That's the ten. <laughs> because she's licking something she doesn't understand. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to do, so I can't prepare by heart beforehand with like uh, tensing up or something. You taste it. Yeah. At first, it tastes like kiwi. Ooh, I don't Ooh. like kiwi. Then, disaster strikes. Oh no. You shit yourself. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, so. Your stomach is in knots. I need you to suffer two points of necrotic damage. Oh, well, that's fine. Now I'm just down to six. Don't mind me. Times three. I'm gonna. <laughs> well, I mean, that's. That, I'm still left at two. I'm still left at two. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just. Can I? Can I just cast another bandage creature right now? Yeah, you can definitely do that. <laughs> uh, right. I'm. I'm in. Zona plops his fucking hand down on top of her shoulder, trying to get his bearings, and releases the prepared spell he had. Okay, so that's fourteen, 14 healing. I. Yeah. Cool. So now I'm, uh, depending yeah, on if it was a times three, I'm either at 16 no, or... No, you're fine. I'm... Okay. He's joking again. <laughs> okay, so in that case, uh, 14 plus 6, 20. We ball. Okay, cool. I'm going to just go, thank you very much, uh, comrade. You did very well he in battle. I am... sputters, and he can't even speak. <laughs> He's winded. I... Cool, I got you, bro. I'm just gonna like hold you close in a tender, like, yo, it's all right, bro. And just go, do not need you, do not need to speak. I am merely in awe of your wonderful talents. You must, you must teach me what they may be at some point. Maybe I he can. He shakes his head. He can't. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> fine. Do not worry. Either way, you were, you fought bravely, and I am glad to be your comrade. He by the way, th by else. the way, this goo. By yeah. the way, this goo is not good for you. Do not consume it. <laughs> if since since I've since I've already declared he's incapable of speech due to his exhaustion, would I have to roll something for him to speak or to try? Yeah. Uh, please do me a uh, constitution saving. Yeah. Damn. Nah, can't speak. Damn. Yeah. By the way, uh, this is this is a spellcaster with a constitution save. Wow. Damn. Uh, it'd, it'd be Wait, like, uh, what the oh. fuck? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, hey, based gameplay, you, you know? It's mind you, it's it's a half caster, and it's right. primarily focused on beating the shit out of things. Mm hmm. It's not really focused on really casting. It doesn't really have offensive spells. It has like maybe three. Mm -hmm. Not counting hex. That's Everything it. else it gets is is support. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Sort of like a, a, a weird, like, intelligence paladin. Mm. Intelligent. But <laughs> it doesn't really get as much HP. Yeah. It's I am really fun. smart, so I am powerful. Keep, uh, keep rolling playing for a second while... Uh... This is okay. the fucking, like, you know, where do you work out? The gym. <laughs> Except yeah. his head and his body are huge. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> The gym, but it's just a library. Right? But yeah, uh, I'm going. Uh, the Asterius is going to turn to uh, Hiku and just go, Comrade, are you all okay as well? I appreciate, uh, I, I appreciate your <coughs> proficiency with your weaponry and your instruments. Maybe sometime we can have a non-threatening opportunity, an opportunity to listen to you play it. I'll have to fix the Biwa first. Otherwise, uh -huh. I'm fine. Mm, I, uh, could... not to brag or anything, but I didn't really take the same damage all of you did. Yes, but that is okay. You did, you, uh, you assisted, however, well, however what, that does not matter. I appreciate your assistance and I'm glad to call you comrade. And now, JD. Yeah. Yeah, I I look to you and I think, hmm, you also got your ass slapped by a gelatin monster. Uh, I, good, good job not dying. 
By the way, Zonus's cape got knocked off and fucking ruined in the uh, in the scuffle, and now that that little like under tabard is being worn on his side of the cape. It's this small red cloth that's just hanging off of his arm. Dude, dude's attire was kind of fucking ruined. Jeez. Damn, bro, I got you. I'll, I'll just it'll be like a grandma where it's like I'll make you a new one, and it's like woven with like a heart in it. That's awesome. <laughs> I got you both, don't worry about it. <laughs> his fucking flow got destroyed. His leaning a little more relaxed onto Asterius now. Hell He's yeah. Just sort of eased in, it's just sort of still clutching her shoulder, arm hanging at his side. <laughs> Go right ahead. But yeah, uh, as, as for the uh, comrade uh, over behind the house, I believe your name is uh, Virion. Yeah. You can come out now, there's no need to be afraid. I'm not afraid. Well, welcome back to the group. Uh, I would also like to con congratulate you, especially on doing the killing blow. Uh, it did not appear that we were going to live if you did not do what you do, or did do what you did. So, congratulations. I believe we are a good team. <laughs> Can I make yeah. a constitution saving throw to see if I could speak? Yeah, go for it. What's the verdict? Mm. Nah. <laughs> Ass. Can I give the help action? One more time. Can I give the help action on that save, or is that not how that works? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey man, he gets some breath into his lungs, finally just... <sighs> I see why my dad fucking hated slimes now. Joy creatures, but... Huh, as soon as they get out. <clears throat> yes, I... I myself, I do not believe I have encountered one before personally. I may have heard a tale at some point in my past. However, I can confidently say now with full assurance, I hate them. I am not racist, mind you. No, 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 no. I love all things, uh, unless they are an opponent, and then I love them in, in a way that is, they are my opponent. But I hate it so very much. <laughs> his Zonus lifts his finger and points to Hiku. You leave me that. That'd be, uh, I can get it fixed for you by morning. My trade requires would... me to be uh, an expert in mundane artifice. I would appreciate it. It has meaning for me. I understand. Just, uh, guess, leave it by the, leave it by the counter. Tell the, tell the, tell the keep at the guilds that she's just to pass it on to me. I'll cover the cost for the repair. In the distance, you all hear the like crunching on the ground of like a few footsteps. Mm. You see two mages dressed in a very bright red garb. Hey, wait a minute. One of them is much smaller than the other two, and he appears to be that of a raven. I think I recognize that red-haired fella. Oh no, it's that bastard. <laughs> and then... There happens to be a young man with blonde hair and bright blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And another character who wears a blue cloak similar to that of Izonus. Before it got obliterated. Before it got obliterated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call me it. Open it and she goes, Mr. Delphine! <laughs> Do you want to explain to me why you violated a direct order? I didn't violate any direct orders. I asked them for permission. I got it. Would have Please. risked the mission otherwise. People could have died and we could have lost this continuum. It does not matter. We were on strict given permission to only use the weapons. Oh, bite my ass. He props himself up a little further and actually manages to hobble his ass over there. The, uh... Can you explain to me why the Continuum nearly killed us? Why aberrations suddenly appeared? Do you want to explain to me why things fell apart here so quickly? Why this wasn't routine ops? The the little the little raven you hear his little his little talons kind of like Stand click up on the ground. He goes, "This is not the situation to have this conversation, Mister Dalton." Well, 
cute. We're happy to see you. We're happy to see you too. I get it. I do. I get it. She's just worried about her job. I get it. Everything Look. is fine. You did what you needed to do. I'll put in a good word for you. Do not worry. <clears throat> Look, if it's a deference from orders, I've still got multiple strikes I can take. If you have to put me down for one, I'll take it the punishment after. Don't sit the... there and try and blame whatever it is you're trying to call to order because I had to save people. Fine! Fine. I don't want you all taking the fall for what I did. My problem is, is we didn't get here sooner. It's kind of fun to fight that thing. No, no, it's, it's fine. It would have been fun if you were all here. The group's more than capable of handling themselves. Uh, they've passed more than their fair share of tests. And then the, uh, the blonde kid just goes, <laughs> putting one of my family in danger like that. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. And then why weren't you here helping out? I didn't know you could I was on another mission. Then you should have trusted that I had this. <clears throat> but you didn't, did you? I did. The situation was resolved. All aberrations and all abnormalities were purged, and we're here now. Don't act like just because something almost happens means it didn't. What matters right. is we got the result we were looking for. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to take Kalesh, and we have to go wipe the minds of 30 dozen villagers. You can just explain it off as trauma. Take sure. It section 7. Just take it under Section 7. Yeah, we could do that. But it's just easier to do this. Come on, Kalesh. Er, er, I don't er. need to interrupt this happy little reunion, but can anybody please explain what the fuck is going on? I do not it's... know, but it is very intriguing. He ah. looks back over to Veer and just shoots him like, eh, that's, that stare's icy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's cold. Gee, that's a cold um, look coming from over to Om, um, Veer, and the, and the others. It's uh, complicated. I'll explain after this. The kid just like looks after Clash. I love you. Ah. He's like feathers <laughs> ruffle as he sees a cat. Ah. He like scutters away. What do they think about me? <laughs> if they're scared He's of right to you! <laughs> oh! Damn! I, I will so... crouch it down and just go, do not be afraid of me. I oh, he's fucking frightened. He's running. He's gone. Damn. Damn. Oh. He's a runner, he's a track star. <laughs> World star, world star gang shit. Um, all that's left is the young lass wearing the blue coat. Does Azonis recognize this young lass? Yes, this is your direct superior officer. Mm -hmm. Well, sort of. I say direct superior. But... You know what I mean. You know who it is, though. Yeah, but you could have captured it. No. The thing would have been interesting to study. It was, it was getting super critical. Any attempt to capture it would have failed. It was... I He, he actually pulls off a central, what looks almost like a pearl, from his gauntlet and hands it over. Data's recorded there of what I could capture. If you can just get that back to me before the next for the next operation. You can take everything from there, recreate it, sim it if you have to. There is no... But the thing is, is they were so intelligent, you know? Like, they're, they're, they were just trying to live, and then... <sighs> I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't put this on you. And then she looks to the group. Just, ah. don't, don't worry about it. Hi! Hello! I've seen two of you before. The... And she like looks at Virian and Asterius. Mm -hmm. Have we met? Yes. Hey, well, hey, in well. passing, but what, wait, was this was this the one that was like, what's it like being a cat? What's it about like yeah. being a Leonin? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yo, I'm gonna look at just like, oh, you're a very interesting girl. I do you still wish to hear information about what it means to be one of my kind, or are you? Uh, have you met the quota for that intelligence? For that? Uh, oh, intel most definitely. But unfortunately, I have to do business right now. I very and much understand. She no takes out a book mm -hmm. 
from under her cloak and opens it. And a quill from like in her sleeve and starts writing, right? There's an incantation said as a bit of ether starts to swirl around. And it conjures into the shape of the once known goddess Titania. Ooh. So, um, I'm going to need to head out now. Okay. So, See we'll just yeah. consider Izonis having uh, hobbled off. After. Mm. Maybe maybe someone else came and picked him up. Right. Oh, I I mean I'm 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 on the way. I'm like, hey, let me scoop you up. That's that's oh. feel up right away. Yeah, he passed out. Oh, yeah, Mysterious is exhaustion, just gonna have her. Exhaustion hit a little too heavy. Hey, yeah. so hear me out. Do I have consent to carry you bridal style? Yes. Let's go. I was All gonna right. say over her back on the shoulder or something no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Nah, you are not a sack of rice. Anyways, y'all take care. Thanks for the game. Yeah. You're welcome. And yeah. uh, I should I hope be back you... home. So we. I hope hmm? you had fun. Yeah. I did. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, cool. take care. She looks to the um, the creature and says, Would you mind cleaning this up for me? And it just nods. And it starts going about kind of soaking up all of the like slime. <laughs> Apologies. Um, my name is Vahel Kofola. And I am a scribe at the prestigious Candlekeep. Well, I say scribe, but I am a researcher focusing on the study of magical creatures and arc anima. Well, the creation of creatures. This one was one I was trying to monitor for a while, as I knew that the, uh, the breeder of these were trying to create a sentient friend. It would appear as though that he got to the point where they started to exhibit mild sentience, but unfortunately, the situation that it was, not able to uh, preserve the creature for further study. Hmm. Sadly, yeah, that is... sorry, but that thing didn't seem too friendly. Oh, they were. They were quite darling when they weren't in a bad mood. Mm. Or hungry. I did. I did try to calm them. Yes, yes they... you did a very good job. From what I heard. Hmm, indeed. It's a shame what happened to your Eva. <sighs> I don't like how much you know for not being here. I have eyes everywhere. Here, that there. Bothers me even more. Well. Do not worry, I am sure it is nothing threatening. After all, we're part of the guild that this wonderful little lady works for. I think that'd be good for us. Oh. <laughs> I don't work for the guild. Oh. The guild works for me. I Well, you know, I think that Morgan? might be yes. just as good. Hopefully. Well, to explain, mm -hmm. the Hiking Adventuring Guild is a branch of this field studies that we do for Candlekeep. Mm -hmm. We can requisition adventurers or whatnot for all sorts of excursions, actually. This, originally I was going to join you all for, but um, other matters called for other places, and Mori and Kiki and I decided we wanted to go to another place. I do apologize for putting you into this situation, though. That is fine. It is not your fault. You did not try the job. Oh. We, signed, we signed up for this. It is no work. At least. And she reaches into her coat. And you guys can see, like, a couple of, like, potions and stuff, like, hanging in her coat. Mm -hmm. Where did I put it? Ah! Here we go. And she pulls out a scroll. Mm -hmm. Here. It's not much... And it certainly isn't going to make up for everything that happened today, but this is for you. Ah, uh -huh. are they just presenting it to the group, or just, like... Just to anyone who wants to take it. Ah, uh, I guess I'll... Technically, in. it's going to go in you guys' loot journal. Ah, okay. I will just care... Actually, like, hand... I'll put my hand around it and, like, grab gently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you just like to like read what it is? Uh, sure. Do you know Draconic? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Good. 
So, when you open it, in Draconic, it outlays a very complex arcane formula that you don't really understand, but you at least know that the spell is called Restoration Word. Ah. Ooh. Interesting. Now, metagame knowledge-wise, this is a fusion spell. Mm -hmm. This is two spell effects put together. Mm -hmm. A stored second level healing word and a cast of lesser restoration. Mm -hmm. These both activate at the same time, and it will take your object interaction, so your bonus action. Yeah. So whoever wants to hold on to it may hold on to it. I, I'm not. A, I am not against me holding it. However, I do not wish to try and impose my will upon any kind of decision. So I will leave it to the group. So who wants to hold on to this group? I don't Can really I? care either way. It's you very well, May Miku, uh, Hiku. I believe you said you wished to hold it. Me. Mm -hmm. Yes, you very well may have this scroll. Takes it. Looks it over. Okay. Love it. No. Mm. So I will also say uh, above board, uh, I do kind of in a little bit. Oh, we're about to wrap up. Don't worry. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was about to say, yeah. I, and Make I sure close. when you all get back to the guild that you let Melinda know mm -hmm. that I said you all did a good job. Mm -hmm. She should give you a little bit extra for dinner tonight. Understood. We very much shall. You all did great, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that we can't explain further. Just know that there are things at work that uh, Izonis has your best interest in mind. No, I very much believe they they are a very trustworthy individual with how the uh, I guess determined would be the word would be to to describe their ferocity against their opponent to ensure our safety. I I very much trust they are a dependable <laughs> individual. Do all of your kind speak like that? No, I just make it the habit of being positive and speaking positively about people who I have no need to speak negatively of. They are my comrades. I have no other purpose but to be nice to them. I'm going to go catch up with them and help them um, erase the minds of those poor villagers on what happened today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wrangle up some slimes for the town. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, do you guys have a nice evening? Okay. You do Take as care. well. Do svidanya. And she kind of like runs off. It's uh, the four of you with uh, sleeping as us. Yeah. I want to talk about yeah. what happened. Yep. <laughs> JD, how does it feel yeah. seeing your brother? Expect to see him again. What do you mean? <sighs> Where to begin? That blonde jerk is my brother. Uh, <laughs> might, I, might, might I ask why exactly he is a jerk? You didn't pay attention to the fact that he was so rude to Zonas? Yeah, I. Not all people speak kindly, but not all people are not kind. Well. <sighs> How to say this right way without making him sound awful, which is what I think he is, but he's he's a master mage of sorts, but it's almost like a pro, almost like a, like a prodigy, especially in our family. Is he the kind that cares about results first? More like he cares more. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, he, he's 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 kind of what the power get to his head. Mm hmm. That is not good virtue for anyone. It is not a virtue at all, even. I know too many people that are like that. Unfortunately, my brother is a bit stuck up because of it. But... Mm -hmm. I, 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 I... I'll be honest, I'm surprised he even cared I, I was even alive. 
For your sake, I hope him being stuck up is just the uh, the extent of it. That's what I'm starting. I'm hoping that's the case. You said mm. Oz almost put me in danger, but I was perfectly fine. So uh, was, so was brothers. Kind of... Yes, siblings. I I cannot speak on your relationship, but I can say, siblings. They are interesting because you'd think they are always. You'd think they would display their care and affection and compassion, but not all do, and it is very terrible, but you must live. As no matter what, you are you, they are them. I was just... Sadly. You know, all those years I thought he was just trying to avoid me because I'm, the, I'm, I'm kind of the runt of the family. I guess he was doing it to protect me. Oh, I know what that like. Absolutely the same here. Yep, same. <clears throat> yeah, um, he's a he, he's 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 um one of the how do I say this the right way? Um, he's the one uh, most uh famous in the family. Besides, you know, for different reasons. Granted, I have my own reasons of being famous, but he's known for being part of the Circle of Red. Uh, big Circle Mages. Rolls on places, does shit. I honestly don't really care very much about it, but that's what I've ever talked with the Zonas about, I have no knowledge of. Mm -hmm. All I know is my brother's hiding something, and I don't think he intends to tell me. It is possible, but if it is worth knowing, I'm sure we will find a way. Do not be concerned. Oh well, let's get the let's get Zonas back to the guild. I'm sure he's worn out and uh yeah i think we did a decent job <laughs> didn't expect mm -hmm. that, big, that big thing to show up i agree mm -hmm. yeah let's get the fuck out of here yeah agree mm -hmm. so they're heading back to the guild yeah, yeah. we are heading back to the guild On and uh to happiness today. You make it back safely and soundly, with nothing bad happening. Y'all had a bit of rest, food, and you guys had a dream. Ooh. The same voice came back to you. Mm -hmm. But it's not a dream like last time where you saw visions. It's more like you were scrying into a situation. Hmm. The vision brought you soaring over the city of Hyken into the great city, into a chamber in which you guys had no knowledge of existing. You all saw the young woman from earlier. Mm hmm <laughs> and those same colored mages their faces obscured of course a gentleman with dark skin and long hair kind of graying beard and a, and a coat of some kind and a drow whose outfit was significantly more defined than another he speaks up first Viola what can you tell us about what happened in Cherrywood today? I, um... Is it true that one of the field operatives, specifically the Delphane, was responsible in this? No, that's, that's not exactly the... I do not want to know the specifics. What answers did you know? Yes. And you didn't supervise? I was occupied putting fires out other places. And I remind you, the situation we find ourselves in working with, at any one point, he could bring ruin to the entirety of our city. Percival, that's enough. The uh, older, dark-skinned gentleman speaks up. 
you know as well as I do, the Del Thames are very misunderstood. Show a little care and class, just like your father did. And all of you wake up. Beautiful. You're not sure if this was a dream. Or if it was a vision. What the fuck? But whatever that voice is trying to show you, it wants you to see something. And with that, we're going to leave it there for the night. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. So I hope you all had a good session. Oh, yeah. I, did. I'm gonna sit I got my ass kicked, but it was entertaining. <laughs>